This episode is brought to you by Sattva, the only online mattress company that provides free delivery, setup, and mattress removal. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to your mom's house with Tom Segura, Tom Segura, and Christina Pajitsin. Welcome to your mom's house. What's up there, chomos? It's another episode of your mom's house podcast. I'm here with the always lovely and a little behind this morning. Sorry, little, I'm a little slow. No headphones in. No headphones in. I had diarrhea this morning, okay. so I'm a little lost. Oh yeah, my electrolytes are depleted. We did um, Jesus Trejo's first we feast show tacos con todo last night, and, and then, then this we made morning cacas con todo. Oh yeah, absolutely. Because <laughs> we had like. 20 different tacos from two different vendors all yesterday. kinds of stuff man and i didn't even mention i made the mistake of eating zanku chicken for lunch oh before. my god it was a catastrophe this morning it really was we were double pooping and you then were downstairs i was upstairs at the he was having time. us try what it molotes Ay vey. um uh quesadillas oh. taco and it was all like because it was for the show they were like <laughs> You got to try this other thing. We never really don't make this, but <laughs> we scooped up some grease from the back and made this special for you. Yeah, it was a <laughs> literally it went all yeah. out. It was awesome food, yeah. but the uh, the brown was real. I mean, I haven't had turds that hot, I think, in a long time. Yeah, and thank God we have those total washlets because I, I just know. hosed the hosed it down, and it really helped. The uh, you have like Ugh. gut pain when you, you know what I mean? I had yeah. gut like in my lower guts. I was like, ah, oh, fuck. Yeah. I actually hurt. Well, and it's funny because I don't know if this is a medical thing, but after I have diarrhea, I feel like I need to carb load yeah. immediately. And we've been eating Pop-Tarts. Because you want to sop it up. That's what, well, that's is that what, what it is? I think it is. I think your 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 mind goes, well, put something that's going to soak up this. You know what I mean? You don't want to put greasy stuff in your yeah. stomach. You want the opposite. So you want breads and starchy yeah. things and just to feel whole again because i feel yeah. very disconnected and yeah like i, I birthed oh it was hot how was your wipe up oh, i just ran the cycle on that washlet over and over just yeah just nice warm stream it's cleaning me out that, thank god could you imagine if we didn't have the washlets this morning like a fucking peasant no <laughs> <laughs> of course not i started going in a toilet that didn't have yeah and then i was like i can't finish this dump unless i have the wash let hey, hose hey sis texted me yeah what'd he say um he said laugh my ass off bro baby wipes cools things off <laughs> <laughs> yeah because i dm'd him this morning like hey bruh how's your culo because we got massive brown town at this house the segura home is <laughs> Dude, it was so hot. Why did? But why is it so hot coming out? I don't know. Why is the temperature hot? I'm or good. I'm it? good with not finding out why. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I need to know. I have to ask Doctor Drew. All right. And is it very acidic? Because it. Why the ring sting? Is that the spices from the the chilies and stuff coming out of your culo? Guess so. You guys ready to get why? the show started? <laughs> I must know. Okay, we'll save it for a doctor. Okay. Okay, let's right. ask Drew. All right. We can ask. I got that NRE, Tom. <laughs> NRE is really strong. All right. Here we go. <laughs> NRE. Rest in peace, Fed Smoker. I was just going to tell you, your eyebrows, are, or, uh, the way you did your eyelashes, looks really good today, okay? <laughs> yeah. How do you smell cocoa? Well, you'll have to look it up in the dictionary. That's what we do in America. Are you from America? We don't have names in the dictionary, sir. Yes, well, that name's in the dictionary. It's a 15th one in C from the back for Connell. <laughs> it's a it's an animal if you look at it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Who is Randy? Don't bring anyone mother into this. Your mom in the fucking stand! Welcome, welcome. Welcome to your mom's house <laughs> with Tom Segura. Tom, Tom Segura. And Christina Pajitsi. Christina Pajitsi. Welcome to your mom's house.
It's the greatest song. It's the greatest song. It's ever. the greatest song of all time. Um, he does have a point that her eyelashes, is it her brows that he likes or the lashes? Uh, How do you get a job here, you fuck face? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Those eyelashes, that's, this is the thing that women are doing now is getting extreme eyelashes yeah. put on their regular eyelashes. Mm-hmm. It looks crazy if you do too much. Yeah. It's I'd, another mentally ill thing. Um, I don't know if I would call her no. that. No, she looks normal. Yeah, she does. She's she just looks a, pretty. She's, she's sweet. She's a pretty lady just doing her thing. And <laughs> our, our the late Conald E. Peterson is kind of uh, a little out of line. <laughs> just ruining her day. <laughs> what is the deal with everybody staring at these phones all the time? I've got one just like that. I, I find it not very entertaining at all. Can you tell me? We're not entertaining ourselves. We're working. We're oh, communicating. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> and I don't think he does have the same phone that they have. No. I think he's got like a razor or something old. Uh, yeah. He's not on the same Sidekick? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, KTV. I'm sorry. My bad. Okay, the white's blinging. This lady, look at all that white. Even the old piece of shit's white. All white for me, folks. For my stories, after the red flash, you know it's white. But never bet against that black. What? I don't know. Yeah, he's describing the colors, the colors of the cars. Colors of the cars, but, but he was like, I'm all white, and yeah, but, don't bet against black. But those have meaning. It has hidden meaning. Yeah, no, like, I'm sure there's a lot of meaning there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He hears you guys always notice the white chariots around when you're filming? They're always white around me. I can't tell you how They kind of is. are. He's right. <laughs> There's yeah. really no pattern. After the red, the white flash. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, can I get your name before I split? Can I get your name? Peterson. What's your first name? Connell. Connell? Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. He's truthful. Uh, you know, when I, I think when I first saw this, I was like, that's a made-up name. And then... Since he passed, I learned that that's actually that is real. That's his legal name, yeah. But she reacted the way most people would, like, Conald? Yeah. That's not yeah? <laughs> well, because... Sounds like you just made that up on the spot. Well, because doesn't Conald sound like one of those new fandangled made-up names? Kind of. I like mean, what the kids are having today. Yeah, Like yeah, Brayden. Brayden's right. not really, I don't think, or Caden. Those are made-up names. Yeah. We, we work with a Brayden. I know. <laughs> I know, and yeah. every time he emails me, I'm like, "That's not a real name. That's not that's, a real your name. mom just made that up." Yeah, I mean, he's not. That's not he's not eight, you know. <laughs> right. <laughs> he's in his twenties. Right, yeah. but his mom made that name up. But it's not his fault. Well, we his should, we should hit him up. Should we call him right now? Let's call him right now. Be like, "What's up with your name, dum dum?" Okay. <laughs> you got one of those made up fancy new names, Logan. No, Logan's not made up. Logan's an old school name. Yep. Let's see here. But there's definitely a thing about Brayden, Caden, Jaden, those Aiden type names, or Mackenzie. It's another popular one. Let's see here. Crystal. Crystal's a horror's name, but we all know that. Yeah. I'm seeing if he'll answer. Hey. Hey, Brayden? Yes, sir. Hey, um, I'm doing the <laughs> podcast right now. You're on. Um, Christina says <laughs> you don't have a real name. Wow. Yeah. She said your mom made it up. Uh, that's sort of true. They actually found it in a newspaper and then ran with it. Really? See? Yeah. What did they find, though? Like a city named Braden? Or is it, how did they come up with it? They, like, legitimately, my dad was reading the paper one morning and saw it in a story. And he's like, how about that for our son? And that's what happened. Wow. That's so Christina's kind of right. Boom. Boom. Uh, yeah. Do you, have you ever met another Braden? Um, like one or two ever. <laughs> and what were they like? Um, I, I know, like personality similarity. I don't know. It's like, it's a very low sample size, so it's hard to compare. Yeah. Okay. It's All not right. a real name. What's your middle name? What's your middle like name? Or Christina. No. Alexander. Oh, okay. Um, That's real. That passed yeah. the test. <laughs> okay. Yeah. We just wanted to make sure, man. <laughs> I'm real. Okay. All right. Thanks, Brayden. Thanks, Brayden. Let's talk to you all later. Okay. All right, bye bye. Oh, hello. You guys all think the blonde is crazy, and then I'm right. 
Hello, can I yep. get a little credit for that one? Yep. Oh, see? You got it right. Made up. <sighs> Thank God we don't have those millennial fancy names. I know. We kept it. Our parents kept an OS, baby. Tom OS, and baby. Christina. OS. <laughs> um, what was I going to tell you? Um, oh, yeah, All the right. rest of this. Sorry. sorry. Oh, there's more? Mm-hmm. I was just going to tell you your eyebrows are, are uh, the way you did your eyelashes looks really good today, okay? Connell? Yeah. How do you spell Connell? Well, you have to look it up in the dictionary. That's what we do in America. Are you from America? We don't have names in the Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Can I get your name? No, sir. Okay. I noticed you answered the twang, but I think you're holding out on me. I think there's more to that name, okay? Oh, twang is not even close to my name. That's a racist comment, sir. Well, he's not really hearing stuff right. You know, like he's listening to voices in his own head. Oh, that's true. I thought I you meant she said it and he racist. was like, oh, he misheard it. Yeah. Well, you know what's interesting is that she goes, Names aren't in the dictionary, sir. Like, I would have never responded that way. I'm from America. Oh, I, I, I didn't know for sure. I didn't know. I'm not a racist. Well, just because I look different, I don't... No, I think you look beautiful, actually. You're one of the prettiest ladies I've seen. Somebody, from America. I didn't ask you if you were from America, did I? You did. Well, are you from America? I am from America. Well, that's You're great. Why engage? He's like, I didn't, did I? Oh, are you... <laughs> Well, why engage the crazy guy? Well, she tried not to, actually, in her defense. She tried oh. not to. Mm. That's great. I'm proud to have you here, man. So don't assume my name is Twain. Okay. Why would you assume my name is Twain? Why would I assume? Because that's what I would name you if you were my child. Why? Because you look like a twang, like a guitar player. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! You look like a guitar player. Backpedaling. Twang in the guitars, you know, I'd put you on my band. Anyways, thank you. What do you think of this day? It's a great day. Great day. God bless you. And I'm going to continue to call you Twang. Never bet against the block, Americans. There you go. God bless you, girl. Have a nice day. I think there's a lot of coded racism in this video. Mm -hmm. He was like, don't bet against the black. There's whites everywhere. Are you Twang? Yeah. See, you look like a guitar player. Now you're starting to understand his language. Yeah. His crazy language. Yeah. Poor Twang. Poor Twang. She's just trying to do her job. No. Uh, trying to do her job, buddy. You look like a Twang. You know what I mean? Yeah, like a guitar player, not like yep. a racist Twang. Touch right. my camera through the Put fence, you up. faggot. Ooh, yeah. ta ta there. God, I really miss him. <laughs> I know. Such a good guy. I know. I miss him too. Uh, this is exciting. Before we uh, go further, uh, real quick, thanks for supporting the new Run NRE <laughs> shirt, the Saku Souffle shirt and the Saka Souffle hoodie. I uh, really appreciate your guys' support with that. They're all in the store. You can get them at merchmethod.com slash Tom Segura. And uh, really appreciate it. I mean, the NRE, just so you know, we did it for our poly friends. Um, yeah. A lot of people in our community feel, you know, maybe marginalized, kind of left out. Um, and they don't have, you know, something that makes them feel comfortable. So yeah. that's why we, we made the run NRE shirt so that people who thrive in new relationship energy <laughs> have something that they can put on with pride yeah you know? and you know what i love doing tom mm. more than nre yeah just blowing people's minds yeah like when we walk down the street and it's you and me and yep. then you're you're holding your girlfriend's hand i'm holding my boyfriend's hand mm-hmm. and people are like what like that's what i live yeah, that's for one of my favorite things about being poly <laughs> Walking down the street, holding her hand while she's holding his hand, giving her a kiss, and then watching him give her a kiss, and people just kind of looking like, "What? What just happened?" Oh my god! Did he and he? They're not killing each other. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that you know what else is like that when I was a teenager, yeah. and I'd wear goth makeup, and I'd be like, "Why is everybody looking at me?" God, God, just leave me alone. I'm I trying just, to be left I'm alone. Just dressed like, mm-hmm. like death. Yeah. yeah. God, stop staring. I know. <laughs> Cool. So adolescent, mm-hmm. it's very adolescent. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. 
It's really a cool. When guy. are we going to start opening up this relationship, Tom? As uh, soon as we start rocking these shirts, man. You know what's really <laughs> cool is if you could fall in love with my best friend. Shaka Souffle. Shaka Souffle. Um, I could fall in love with your best friend if you set it up, <laughs> make it happen, and then let everybody be in awe. You know, <laughs> be like Christina. Did you just best friend just kiss Tom? I'm so happy for them. Oh, and like, I'm yeah. so excited. <laughs> this is the best I've ever felt. It's the best. When your husband and your best friend hook up. Yeah. It's just the best. It's awesome. It's so great. Um, <laughs> another exciting thing. Yes. Really exciting thing is that one of my dreams came true. I know. Uh, we both got to be in a rap video, a music video. It was so fun. Well, first of all, you got a shout out in the new Zarface Zar song. song. Bizarro. Zaro. Uh, Bizarro. Bizarro. And, um, and if that wasn't cool enough. Then they hit us up. And here's the thing. The video is out now. It is completely enmeshed with your mom's house. I mean, we, <laughs> it's like the theme of the video. Did you get to see the video? Both of you guys saw it? You saw it? Uh, I saw it. I, I don't you think I've seen it yet. Uh, I haven't showed it to any it's yet. It's dude. so cool. We've been watching it over and over. Like, it's really amazing. That? They really made it look amazing. And I don't know. I'll be able to die being like, yeah, I'm in a, I'm in a music video with Inspected Deck from the Wu-Tang. I mean, that's wild to it's me. It's pretty radical. Yeah. So they definitely shout out to Zarface, uh, Esoteric, 7L, Inspected Deck. You guys totally made it happen. It was really fun. We did it right here. Uh-huh. And uh, and in the other room and and um they shot some at the live show, but I would say the majority of that video is shot here. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to give away plot, but it's kind of a YMH fantasy. Yeah, you can way. look at it. You can look at it right now. You just type in yeah, Zarface Bizarro. Look. It's on YouTube. Um hey, let me ask you this. What's the director's name? Do you remember? Mike. 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 Uh, Pe Mike Petchy. -E Mike Petchy. That's Petchy. Yep. Um, he did a great job directing it. So it was a total thrill for them. Like when at first, uh, when uh, Seamus hit me up about it, he was like, will you do a cameo? Like just a pop. I, I figured it would be like, just kind of pop your head in thing, you know, for the line. And then he was like, as DJ Dadmouth. And I was like, yeah, sure. Um, <laughs> then I was like, I don't have any of that gear anymore. So then they hit us up with the treatment for the video and it's like yeah it's really cool so it's really fun we yeah it, it was such a good time yeah yeah we're we're going to become rappers now because i think we enjoyed it i enjoyed it so good. much that uh, i'm going to be a rapper you think so yeah i think so i think i've got the skills to pay the bills you know what's really i don't and real talk though mm. whenever we have um musicians in that chair like you know he rapped at some point yeah. Seamus, and watching him like do the thing you're like whoa like you really see them when they're dialed in yeah. doing their thing and you're like this is he's so really talented. talented though no it's nuts like he's he's other level I mean, yeah uh, most most rappers are like the truth is that like most are bullshit even su super famous ones they're just kind of they're not they don't have the skill set they, they're you know they'll they'll learn how to deliver lines and It'll the the skill level of like the writing the lyrics. It'll it, it, for a lot of people, it's like a four or five. Mm. You know, he's like a ten. Seriously. I be, oh, because yeah, yeah. Just yeah. from what I saw, and then I then I'm listening to the song over and oh, over. Oh, it's crazy. And you're like, this is a really great. This dude, the dude song. is so talented. I mean, yeah. it's it's really other level. Damn, dude. Yeah. I have such an appreciation for rap music now since I was in a rap video, and I bought Jay Z's book Decoded because mm -hmm. I'm a huge fan of the Black Album. Yeah. What? No, it's just funny that you were, uh, you were walking around the house, be like, "Did you know? <laughs> Did you know that on Ninety Nine Problems? Yeah. Did you know? Well, I'm a huge Jay Z fan. I think he's so brilliant and he's so he is. talented. And yeah. and yeah, nine, a bitch ain't one. It's not about a lady. It's about the canine unit mm -hmm. that never comes and he gets off. He gets off, yeah. And I was like, that's, I, to the last 15 years, I've been like, 99 problems, but a bitch ain't one, thinking it's women. And I'm yeah. like, I'm cool. I like Jay-Z enough that I don't give a shit. I don't give a fuck that he's talking about hoes. Yeah, but I thought it was about, he meant that because he had Beyonce, that mm -hmm. he doesn't need other bitches. Oh, right. Like, she's the the main bitch. Mm -hmm. 
That's what I thought. I mean, that's a logical place to go. It's not a bad theory. Yeah. 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 But then you actually read and and figure out that, right? You dial yeah. in, the, in the book. It's is amazing. It? And I didn't realize how much he loved Big Daddy Kane mm-hmm. as well. That that yeah. was a huge influence on his Brooklyn style guys. and stuff. I was yeah, like, yeah. dude, no, I totally. It's a, it's cool. Big Daddy Kane put him on. Like, yeah. For, like back in the day when he was just in the neighborhood, he put him on. Uh, I forget one of those songs, and they're they're in a video together. And this is way before Jay Z blows up. Wow. And yeah, he he was like definitely. Um, you know, heavily influenced by his style. The yeah. Mossy Projects. It's that. It's that one there on the far left. Man, yeah, I believe. It's and that. and just I didn't know that Jay Z collected art, and then he really fought to have Hard Knock Life, uh, the Annie part, put mm-hmm. in, and like he rallied. He wrote a letter saying like how influential that movie was to him growing up to get the rights. To oh, the so Annie they said music. no at first. Of course, they're like, no, who the fuck are you? You're a fucking black rapper. Yeah, and they're like, yeah. why would we give you that? And then he wrote a letter saying, no, no, I wrote a paper about Annie when I was in school. If the song means a lot to me. I really would like to use it. Blah blah blah. And he won them over essentially. So wow. Yeah, a brilliant, yeah. brilliant guy. Anyway, I'm very excited to be into rap. Um, I'm 43 years old, and <laughs> I'm really starting to cultivate a new interest. I'm really getting into it now. Yeah. I it's mean, I've cool. always passively liked it, but now I'm serious. Like, I'm really getting yeah. into like the the deeper layers of it, and it's 15 years after fascinating. knowing me, she's like, I kind of like the music you listen to a lot. <laughs> well, I've always just been into my own. Music. No, I know. You know, I like the Clash and. I know pixies and stuff. So you got to get me on some of your cracker shit. You know, you will never go to the cracker <laughs> side of the force. I feel like you always are like, what's this bullshit? <laughs> I'm like, it's not bullshit. I tried to explain to no, you I know, I know. that public enemy in the clash. were doing parallel things. I know the Chuck D uh, podcast. On Chuck Spotify. D kicked flavor Flav out of public enemy yeah. last week, two weeks ago. It's crazy. Why old? Yeah. It's really crazy. I mean, yeah. I guess he said he was going to play this concert for Bernie, right? Or like endorsing Bernie and then Flavor Flav was like not having it and was like, nah, man, we're not doing that. So then Chuck D was like, no, it's Public Enemy Radio, which is, you know, legally he's allowed, if he, if he performs as that, Public Enemy Radio doesn't have Flav as a member. And so uh, he doesn't need like to, you know, you can bill it as Public Enemy Radio and technically... Flav's not involved, but then Flav was still pushing back, trying to get like lawyers involved and was like, you know, and then Chuck D said, uh, he goes, he said, Flav wouldn't know the difference between Barry Sanders and Bernie Sanders. So he's like, he doesn't know what the fuck's going on. And then, <laughs> Which is kind of true, I think. <laughs> of course. Flav's out of his mind. And then I, and then, I mean, he just kicked, he said he's kicked out of it. He's out of the group. Wow. That, how do you, can they do that? You know, a lot of things with like these superpower, these big groups will sometimes be, there's one person who really owns the name and the rights. You oh, know what right. I mean? Like, I, then, like Bon Jovi, you know, it's not only his name, but it's his band. Mm. And, and he can technically, he makes the decisions, he can do whatever he wants. Wow. So I guess uh, maybe Public enemies like that where Chuck D actually legally is in charge of it all yeah on paper you know so maybe he can be like you know what you're not in the fucking group anymore it's got to be so hard to be in a group i mean yeah. creatively when you think about what we do thank god we're lone wolves for the most when we do this together but having to deal with five or four different personalities and split paychecks and like yeah yeah well that's the thing though is like differences like, like uh <sighs> bon jovi pays puts them on a salary like day, day yeah like a rate um, right, yeah, like, and the same thing for um, what's it called, Rolling Stones? Yeah, so the no. two guys who are paid like the big bucks are just Mick and Keith, wow. and they pay salary to the other guys. That's bananas. Mm-hmm. But I'm assuming it's probably a pretty bitchin' one. Yeah, for Better sure. Better be bitchin'. Yeah, they're not like here's a hundred bucks. Thanks for coming, man. <laughs> like, no, I know. What's that guy's name? Wood. Wood Ro- the drummer yeah I the dwelling uh, i forget right not not charlie rose yeah charlie rose pete best no that's the beatles one i was thinking of ronnie wood ronnie wood saxophone yeah. charlie watts that's who you're thinking of on the drums but see no no i was thinking of wood oh. but uh but like that ronnie wood doesn't get you know 
like right Mick Jagger money. No, no, yeah, but he's on salary. And Damn, it's, it's, I'm sure it's an insane. Wouldn't salary. you love to know what their salaries are? You could probably. I mean, there's. I'm sure there's. Let's see how much guesses. these fools make. Uh, Fool. Damn, homie. Mm, oh, damn. 88 mil per year? That's good. That's okay. Yeah. That's does it, nuts. Does it break it down? Does it say like... Oh, it does one I of those I don't think things. this is a real site. Really? Oh. What gives that away? <laughs> Random, I was... Uh, Ethan and Ela Klein pointed out that I was featured on WikiFeet. Oh, yeah. Now, I, I, I'd like to defend my photo that's up there because it did not get a very high rating. Yeah. Uh, is that that foot picture was lifted from my Instagram mm -hmm. and I was nine months pregnant. I literally gave birth the next day and that was the last pedicure I had before I gave birth. This is to, to when I did um, <clears throat> Ellis when I was pregnant with Ellis. Yeah. So, I, you know, oh, that one on the there right it is. There. And yeah. that's the lady. See the lady, the and Asian lady the looking Asian up. Click on the Asian yeah. lady. And she's like, look how fat this baked potato is. And yeah. so I feel like I didn't really get a fair shake. You didn't. So that means we got to submit some new photos. I'll, I don't know about that. Why not? You want to up your rating or not? <laughs> you don't want to up your rating? <laughs> I don't want you up there with this shitty rating. You want the best for me, babe? Yeah, of course. Is that what you're trying to say? You deserve five star foot ratings. <laughs> Look at her. That poor woman revving that sausage. I was so yeah. fucking bloated and just so ready. Yeah, you're to like birth. nine months pregnant. No, I literally gave birth yeah. the next day after this was taken. So there, I mean I'm a little upset that this is the this is the shot they got. So yeah. for so, anyone out there jerking off to my foot photos, just know that that's not indicative of what I can really Are do. we not gonna submit new photos? <clears throat> okay, fine, yeah. All right. Yeah. I got I, my feet are nice. That that, that was a bad day. Really bad. Okay. Okay. You know what? That is a kind of porn I would do if I were broke is foot porn. That's real easy. Oh, yeah. That's nothing. I would film and provide all the cum. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All the cum. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't mind. <laughs> would you masturbate? Like, let's say it's 2008 and we're super broke. Would you jerk off on a porn? Yeah. Really? Yeah, I think so. How much money? Well, can I mask? Can I throw a mask on? Because that's a big difference. What kind of mask? Just like a luchador, like a <laughs> like a wrestling mask. And then what's your theme? Um, yeah, there you go. Yeah, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that first one there. Oh, it's scary. <laughs> the Fuck Stanley yes. Kubrick one. I would wear that and be like, Argh. you just hear me grunt through the mask. <laughs> I like that one. Well, I that's like that a safe a bet because nobody can figure out who you really are. <laughs> Bless you. Bless you. Uh, it's always too late. I feel wrong. like that is um, uh, uh, yeah. a good mask. I mean, here's the thing. You're broke as shit, okay? Yeah. That's the scenario we're discussing. You're broke as shit. It's a struggle to pay the bills. Yep. Do you do straight up just on camera, hey, I'm doing porn now? I mean, I think no. Mm. I think you probably want to dip your toe so to speak in <laughs> and um and then how, what kind of money are we talking about well he, he, now that i've i just had a flash of insight and tell me if my my thinking is flawed okay remember the old lady who did only fans yeah she's killing it killing it that's kind of now that i think about it because are those videos made public are they searchable like no, can they come be back members. to haunt me well like kind of yeah because somebody can just rip it and pe uh, post it yeah Shit. Oh, so you were about to do gangbangs? Well, well what I'm thinking. Well, I don't know. I don't know. You just said, <clears throat> can it come back to haunt me? What I'm thinking of <clears throat> is what can what can not come back to haunt me so that when I am a successful comedian a yeah. decade later, they can't be like, dude, look at Christina doing interracial gangbangs. Um, you could probably do gaping videos, you know? What is that exactly? Where you just, you, you spread your asshole open. <laughs> But do I have to have um, a dick in it that makes it spread open? What no. do you mean? You just spread your beehole hole yeah. and that's a thing? Yes. And people are like, look how big her asshole is. Seriously? But my beehole's hole's not that big. I know, but you try to keep getting it bigger. <laughs> you just go for it, you know? Stretch it out. Try it out. Uh, you don't want to try? <laughs> you don't want to try? Uh, would you do that? Um, no, I wouldn't do asshole gaping, but I think I would do... 
The masturbating ones. With a mask on. With a mask no on. One can, no one can Why identify not? you. What if I was a masked gangbanger? Gangbanger? Wait. Yeah. That's a thing, a gangbanger. Okay. So you have a mask on? And I do interracial gangbangs with the LA Lakers. <laughs> I mean, that's quite a leap. Yeah. We just went from, uh, I don't know if I want to show something, and then there's an interracial yeah, gangbang. But I'm trying to make money. I'm trying to make some coin, bro. I mean, yeah, I think you could. <laughs> I think you could make some money. Do you think the the Lakers would? No, nah, they have pretty good salary. As what about? It. <laughs> <laughs> what about the Clippers? They're not as popular as the Lakers. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty good shot. <gasps> what basketball team? Would, I want to go to the, the G League. The what's that? One? The developmental league of the <laughs> NBA, where they're just sure. like they're not making millions yet. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Or if I were you, what I would do is go to a college campus. That's they, even better. Then you're like pulling from all, you could be like, you know, March Madness theme and like, <laughs> uh, you know, college kids, which is a big taboo. And I then, know, but they're too young and they don't know how to F, right? Oh no, they, these guys do. Oh. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> these guys do. When, you're, like, when you're a D1 athlete, you know how to fuck. You're born fucking. <laughs> born fucking. That's for a good sure. name for an album. So uh, walk me through here, because this is all a big <laughs> surprise to me. Um, yeah. Take take me through uh, the leap that you went to from uh, yeah. kind of like, I don't know if I would even appear on camera to <laughs> to the gangbang scenario. Because I could do it, uh-huh. but I would be masked if we're going to do masks. I feel like that Did it ever occur identity. to you to just have a masked uh, one-off kind of sex? <laughs> why, uh, why so many people? Because it's a niche lane. If oh. I do the entire basketball team, that's not what everybody sees. There you go. There There's you money. go. <laughs> I'm trying to make <laughs> coin, bro. <laughs> there okay. I, there I am. How much money do you think you're making? Uh, <laughs> there I go. There she is. Nobody could ever identify me. How much that. do you think you're making with your new video? With my pup mask? Yeah. <laughs> that one's really terrible. I've never seen a female pup before. That Ugh. one's hot right there. Ooh. You How know. much arm am I making? How much that can you make on I fans only? I love this one. <laughs> it's only $31.18, 20% off. Um, how much money could you make? It's up to you. Are you willing to keep making content or not? Yeah, that's why I do the team at once. And then huh. I've got all this content banked and I don't have to do it every time somebody. That was, you know, that's a problem Josh was saying with his sex work. Yeah. Is that he would get these requests and then he has to fulfill them. Yeah. So if I could bank. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a really good point. Yep. Fuck, man. What? Um, I have a, oh, it's just, you know, really cool. <laughs> How much money do you think you're going to make doing this again? Okay. I'm not sure, but at least $5,000 a month, I'm thinking. Oh, maybe, yeah. That's a pretty niche lane. Come on, Nadab. Don't don't go like, uh, put your, put How much your did you say? She five said 5000 a month. Yeah, we could get more for you. Yeah. Now let me ask you this: mm-hmm. You put yourself in the same scenario. Mm. You, it's your, your roughest time, the brokest yeah, year, the brokest you've ever been. <laughs> mm-hmm. Would you do anything sexual on camera, for it knowing that a windfall of cash is at the end of it? And I get to choose what kind of porn. Yeah, yeah. I think not showing my face and maybe so you, you do the mask then too. I'll do some sort of mask. Uh, I don't know if I'm uh, a strong performer enough to do straight up normal stuff. Okay. So it would, I think it'd be pretty, pretty niche things. I don't know what that niche thing would what be. What about being submissive, like tied up, beat? Oh, you know what? That's yeah. nice and easy. Uh, yeah. Having Dom spit in my mouth and throw up all over them. I think I'd do really well there. Yeah, you would do <laughs> yeah. it? Yeah. Like, I don't think that would make me puke, but I could learn how to do it. He goes, I do really well. I think he actually enjoyed the uh, the pitch. He's like, I guess I'll do it. (laughs) (laughs) Like, what if someone wanted to put cigarettes out on your arms or like... Nope, that's my rule. No pain. No No pain. pain. No, 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 actually, hold on. I'm not saying no pain. No scars. No scars. No scars. That's fair. No scars. That's fair. Mm -hmm. Any, would you do anything if you were in like your your poorest, (laughs) you're having trouble paying rent, you know what I mean? And they're like, just... Just shoot this scene, give you, <laughs> you know, a few thousand dollars. Yeah, I would do it now. You do it right <laughs> now. Being broke. And and really, would you do mask or unmasked? I'll do unmasked. I don't care. <laughs> you don't care? Wow. No, not at all. You're willing to, to be on camera having sex right now? Yeah. A hundred percent. I don't what? I mean, I don't understand the like 
the the hesitation with it. I mean, is it some, an embarrassment or? I think yeah. some people, yeah, I feel like yeah. you know they don't want it out there, yeah. like that it's them That's having okay. sex. <laughs> no, I don't know. I feel like it'd be kind of a. I mean, I guess. I guess there there'd be pressure. That's about it. Exactly. But, yeah. But yeah. not no embarrassment. No, not okay. Are you being serious? A hundred percent. But there's a, it's a dark percent. hole. Like, don't you think once you start getting into sex work? I mean, Could you be. saw Josh. He kind of fell apart emotionally. <laughs> <laughs> but what would you do? What would be your limit? Uh, I wouldn't. Nothing going inside me. Basically, besides that, whatever. <laughs> really? So right now, you would you would go shoot a sex scene. On camera, like literally right now. Well, you know, I mean, you know, so like, okay, sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, sure. Wow. I mean, do you have opportunities? <laughs> How much would I, you I need? I think we do actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How much would you need? I don't even know what that stuff pays. And you, you have. Um, I just want to be clear about this. You would be like, yeah, it's just me getting blown and and having sex on camera. You, you don't care who sees it. No, I mean, I would Jeez. hate if my mom found it. That's yeah. about it, but but I don't I don't know. Besides that, I don't really care. No. Okay, new yeah. scenario. You okay? Okay. <laughs> you ha- okay? You do the porn, and part of the porn is that your mom has to watch it. Oh my god! What? She doesn't have she to does. masturbate Jesus. to it, but she has oh to watch it. Oh my god! So so this is a like a fetish thing? No, like no, it's just part of the this deal. Is, this is just Christina's I'll mind. I'll give you a million dollars <laughs> to do the scene. A it's million dollars? Oh, now it's fantasy. Well, hold lane. on. Hold on. It's a boy-girl scene, so it's just straight sex. But the caveat being that your mom has to watch it, and you have to watch your mom watch it. Oh. So so she's in the room with me, or is she like on a TV? Like, oh, no, sorry. You finish the, the scene. It's on tape. And then you show it to your mom to be like, see what I did at work today? And then she watches it. And then you get a million dollars. So so I shoot a sex scene. I show it. It's she finished. sees it. I you watch her see I it. And then I fucking want to rip everyone's mic out of their hand right now. Why? Because of how fucking convoluted this is. It's just a, it's a fun scenario. Okay. Go ahead. Well, would you do it for a million dollars? I mean, I guess for a million, I, I, I guess as like Would if she you? wasn't in the room, no. that's the biggest part. No, a million dollars is a lot of money. Look, we have an actual sex worker on staff, so why don't we <laughs> shift it to uh, Josh? Um, Five hundred to six hundred dollars per scene is what you get paid in pornography okay. for the men. Josh. Yes. There? Would mm-hmm. you would you shoot a, a regular sex scene on camera? I mean, I'm I'm not shooting regular sex scenes, but I'm basically <laughs> just doing the scenario you're presenting. Like, are you poor? Do you want to make money doing porn? And I'm doing that. So would you do? Would you up it though? Yeah. I mean, for how much money? I mean, sure. Let's say fifteen hundred dollars. Would you? Would you for one scene? Yeah. Sure. You would. Yeah. Wait, no, think this through, Josh. You want to be a famous comedian. I think it helped so, me sell tickets, frankly. <sighs> wow. Well, would, hey, if we set this up for you. Uh-huh. <laughs> no. <laughs> Is that legal, Tom? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's legal. He's a p- p- porn producer. I'm a oh, producer. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I'll hire the talent, make sure everyone's tested. Yeah, can I pick, uh, can I do, be at the casting? Yep. Okay. I mean, I'm, I, I'm in. You really are in. <laughs> yeah. You'll shoot the scene. Yeah. I don't know if I can watch. You have, that's the, well, that's the I mean, caveat. Christina has to watch no. for a million dollars. <laughs> no, no, no. There's no million. No, Fuck, get the million out of your head. No. Christina has to get, to no. get Christina a million dollars. No. She has to watch it. No. Because you would I, say no? Josh, because after I, if, if I saw you doing that, I could never see you in the same way again. What? Who cares? So my, what? My, our relationship would forever be tarnished. That's be, fine. We'd have new NRE. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my God. Well, first of all, I'm going to tell you, I have no reservations about seeing it <laughs> because I'm going to direct it. Yeah. So <laughs> not only are you going to see it, yeah. you are going to decide <laughs> which ways I have the sex. And I'm going to be like, all right, you need a pop now. Give us a pop shot. <laughs> like, I can't, Tom. <laughs> I can't. Oh, that's right. There's no pop shot. Well, I mean, I'll no, do it just be. the way that they do it, where I just jerk off onto the, the yeah. tits or wherever yeah. Tom says. Yeah, yeah. There's a director here. Hello. Yeah. 
Hello. Okay, then how does he jerk off? What's the grand finale? Yeah, I decide we're... in the moment. I don't yeah, this know. is how an artist. Do you, how do you make it I'm special? I'm an artist. Don't put him on the spot. It's yeah. part of the scene. You know, you want to, he's got to do a screenplay. Oh my God, I'm going to do this. I'm going to direct my first porn. I'm so excited. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know. And then I'm going to have Any walk in. <laughs> this, is there a surprise? Yeah. Any will walk in and be like, this is how you really feel. <laughs> yeah. And he's going to come in and go, you brave round two. And then I have to be like, yeah. oh. <laughs> So yes. that's how you do it. <laughs> and then the, she turns and looks at your deck and goes, ha, 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 like that. I'm just uh, spitballing some, <laughs> some Pornhub titles, perhaps. You know, it's like, cool black guy teaches nerdy white guy how to fuck. Something like that. Yeah. Ner yeah. Nerdy little bitch. Yeah, yeah. 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 Bitch ass white boy <laughs> with a small dick how to fuck. <laughs> <laughs> bitch ass cuck. And cool black dude, fuck yeah. same girl. Cool, yeah. cool black dude with much superior penis fucks hot girl while nerdy bitch ass boy watches. Well, Jeez listen, yeah, it's a long one. We need to get going on this project. Um, just make note that I would like uh, to start contacting some talent agencies and um, some locations, you know, so we have some uh, options of where to right. shoot. Oh my God, that makes sense. There is porno... Um, yeah, yeah, I'll get my talent. agency on it, actually. Yeah. I'll see Very who we good. have in our roster. Yeah. Um, speaking of uh, <laughs> oh sex work and mm -hmm. whatnot, this weekend or this or a week sex ago, work. you and I were in Las Vegas. Yeah. And it was really fun. The Everyone that came to the Mirage shows was a blast. And uh, we got to go to the UFC fights with Rogan. And um, it, was a, it was a great time. But you also got to see somebody who had purchased a cameo from you before. That's right. Uh, Corey Taylor, lead singer of Slipknot and uh, oh. noted mommy. Mm -hmm. And his wife was also into the show. Uh, back on Christmas Eve, purchased my sex work. His wife purchased <laughs> it for, for him. Merry Christmas. And I yeah, of course. I believe I That's have so great. the video of it's, it's, it's laid together. Yeah, it's, where it's him your oh cameo god. and then him watching it. Oh yeah. my God. And we can watch it here How together special. right now. <laughs> Christmas miracle. Are you serious? Oh my goodness, Alicia. <laughs> if this is truly for the one, the only Corey Taylor, of course I'm a metal fan. Big Slipknot guy. Uh, I am honored, beyond honored, to share with Corey Taylor my <laughs> gift to the world. My shoulder hair. Here it is for you, sir. In all its oh. glory, you're oh. on a big day. Look how thick oh. and lush it is. And over on this side, oh. someone left oh. a present under the tree. <laughs> what could it be? Shoulder hair. Oh, man. Uh. Shoulder hair. Uh. It's Christmas time on my shoulder. <laughs> I'm not as great as a singer as you, sir, but uh, I hear that you have a deformed toe named Hugo. Oh, yeah, I don't have a Hugo into this. We're all in pretty great shape. Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> something there. I stepped on something. It's, it's not good for business. You know, I gotta, <laughs> I gotta go to the shop, get it fixed up. But honest to goodness, this is a great honor. I hope both uh, you and Alicia have a fantastic Christmas and a Merry New Year. And uh, I hope you stay in touch. This has been fantastic. Thank you for uh, indulging in my sex work. <laughs> <laughs> loves it oh loves it God. that's <laughs> the, the coolest thing ever thank you Aww. oh my goodness well i'm saving that i get a special album <laughs> hey you're the one who brought the sex into it just saying look i can't turn totter down you know Pretty good, man. Wow. Wow. That's amazing. That must feel good. Just another satisfied customer, you know? <laughs> Are you still doing them? <laughs> when they come in, I got to make rent, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Are you uh, varying it now? Like you do? F are you doing your your foot? Your, oh, if whatever arm? the people have a request for, you'll you do know? that. Shoulder yeah. hair is uh, unique. I find that I'm the only one providing <laughs> it out there. So that shoulder hair is no joke. It's. When we shoot our scene, yeah, I actually, you know, normally I would tell most of my talent to go ahead and get 
clean shaven. No, you can't have. I mean, I that's part no, of my deal. Dude. That I is mean, the deal. I got the shoulder the hair insured at this yeah. point. Like I mean, J-Lo got her ass insured. That's. <laughs> I might actually make the theme of the scene shoulder hair related. Well, know? I think that's my draw. You would yeah. be uh, silly not to do that. Now, yeah. how would you do that? I'm trying to think of a way to incorporate a woman in that, like where the girls like. Uh, like having a dream, like oh, I'm, I wish I could have a man with hairy shoulders, something mm-hmm. like that. Yeah, and I'll then, tell you exactly how she uh, mm-hmm. would do it. Yeah, uh, it would be a tribbing of sorts on my shoulders. <sighs> you see, yeah, doesn't that make sense? I might do a um, a thing where it's a massage therapist. <laughs> yeah, and she goes, okay, um, just get dressed and get under the the you know the linen or whatever, mm-hmm. and then when she walks in, she goes. <gasps> Shoulders are so hairy. Like she didn't see it when he walked in. Oh, I like that. He's wearing a shirt. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then she's like, wow, you have a lot of shoulder hair. And you're like, yeah, that's what I'm known for. And then it kind of spice, you know, it gets heated from right. And wait, at first, is she repulsed? Like, oh my God, this is so weird. But I think then... we're having it be like it's her, sec- it's her secret. She gets wet and she doesn't even know why at yeah, first. Yeah. Oh, like, wow. She's like, is there a flood in here? Yeah. 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 And then that's how ladies talk to themselves. <laughs> right. <all> the <laughs> Oh and then my he god, they're he floating goes, here. My panties are like a water balloon. Yeah, yeah. nobody And then says. he reaches out and then he goes, oh, I think I touched your pussy. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> well, That's I thought it. perhaps she could be like giving me a massage on my shoulders, you know? That's oh, what I'm saying. And then right. she's like, you know, my hands just aren't strong enough to p- penetrate your lush shoulder hair. I think I have to use my pussy. Uh, <laughs> and then that's how she does this it. This is a cool scenario. Yeah. I also think I'm going to laugh so hard when I'm like, okay, and uh, go ahead and eat his ass. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll, be like, I'll be like, it's part of it. <laughs> and, then, and then she'll be like, are you laughing at me? I'm like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. And I'll be like, um, excuse me. I'm a professional. Yeah. You need to start going. Yeah. <laughs> and then when she squirt oil into his hair, like yeah, to sure. rub it, like to show the oh, texture. Yeah. I think we that. might mix a whole bunch of different genres and fetishes together in the scene. Well, you know, clips you know? are the rage. I mean, we yeah. could get a couple of different things out of this, you know, in one shoot. Let's use our time economically. Yes. Definitely. She'll be definitely blowing you through a donut hole, if that's what you're wondering. And... <laughs> yeah. The donut. A yeah. donut hole. Yeah. She'll, it'll be... <laughs> I hope it's a thin donut. <laughs> You guys are so nasty. Oh. Christina, what would you like to see? For you? Yeah. Nothing. Not like this. <laughs> I mean, I was thinking differently. I was thinking of like guys coming in the uh, in the shoulder hair. Mm. Oh like, my god. Like a bukkake shoulder. This well, is I the mean, one you'd like to well, watch? <laughs> <laughs> no, not from a marketing perspective. I'm thinking that <laughs> I'm thinking about who who specifically this demographic is that's into male shoulder hair and i'm thinking it's guys actually not so much women yeah. so maybe we should skew it towards the male homosexual viewer hmm. so you may want to get like five or six guys jizzing like mm. taking turns on your shoulder hair or something like that why don't we do see how the that? boy girl one goes <laughs> <laughs> and then maybe pivot in a direction based pivot. off that well what are you bumping up against here Josh? Okay, I have to tell you something. <laughs> I'm yeah. really into the shoulder hair bukkake now. <laughs> oh, you've changed. Say yeah. if if we can up the money, is there a, <laughs> is there an option? Um, sure. It would have to Wait be a, minute, a bit more. When you just said it, the title, shoulder hair bukkake. I yeah. mean, that's its it own really, thing. I that mean, is a new thing. Yeah. Here's what I'm thinking. You just created a if genre. You, yeah. If you just will hear me out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Here's what I'm thinking. Super hot chick. Mm -hmm. Sounds good? Yeah. You get to pick her from casting. (laughs) Yeah. You guys have a great scene. Okay. You're going to get blown (laughs) and you're going to have sex with her and it's going to be a lot of fun. And then there's a part two. Hold on. (laughs) (laughs) She leaves. She goes, come for me, baby. And you go, but I can't. And you, you pull out, and you're like, I can't. And you, th- you kind of get sad. And you're sitting on your knee. Like, you know what I mean? You're on your knees kind of like, uh. Like Charlie Brown. Yeah. Wah, and then wah. there's a knock at the door. And then real quick, 10 guys come in, and they all come on your shoulder. And then she goes, well, they can do it. That's it. Kind of makes no sense. But that's how I want the scene to go now. 
Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> you know, I'm uh, I'm open to exploring. <laughs> but you some get, options. You, <laughs> you get double the rate. Wait. Well. <laughs> double. Ooh. Um, double the rate. And does that's get only to... three grand then, eh? That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. The and... Buc- See, I. You know what it is. <laughs> Like many performers in the business, uh, they have their standard rates for what they do. Right. And then, you know, if you want a little extra, something perhaps, you know, out of their wheelhouse, mm-hmm. it costs a bit extra. Okay. You know what I How mean? How much so are we talking So we might about? be talking like 10K. $10,000? Wow. Oh, wow. Per one, you know, 1000 per load. Okay. <laughs> But can and I, then you mm-hmm. get the then you what 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 it is it's really a bargain because it's a thousand per load, and then you get the boy girl scene as a bonus. Right, but think about it from our end. Uh, you know, Tom's got to pay all the other performers. We've got to rent a space. Uh, you know, y- you I don't know. think that the other performers are going to be the center f- of the of the production. So I think you can really kind of not to say skimp. But uh, perhaps yeah. get a lower rated performer, you know? Can I'm you, not picky. Can you <laughs> meet me in the middle somewhere? Can, can... <laughs> I, you know, I, I tend not to do these negotiations alone, but, you know, for you, yeah. I will discuss 5,000. You know, we might have to go down to eight loads or something. We'll have to meet somewhere in the load <laughs> okay. department. And, uh, yeah, like. Also, we're you know what are the size of the loads? Who are we talking? As these far are as? just regular dude loads. I okay, mean, you know they're, oh, well, they're we're not we... bringing in top tier. No, no, no. Uh, are okay. we... they're tested. They're tested. Are okay. we are we casting? Is Josh casting these guys? Or no, are these no, just no. Homeless guys. These are mostly in? yeah street guys. But but <laughs> well, they're, they're going to cost tested. you a hundred dollars a yeah. pop. So that's yeah. you're <laughs> saving right there. I know. I know. I look. I I just I <laughs> that want... was a discussion you probably wanted to have behind closed doors. <laughs> Because now that I know that they're homeless people. <laughs> Look, I want this to be the best scene. I care about the scene being awesome. Yeah. So hmm. the let's, work, let's work out the details. I'll have my manager at okay. uh, ATL call you. <laughs> I really want to shoot this. If, okay. If you're open. Yeah. If you're open to it. All right. I think the fans are going to go nuts. Oh, I. <laughs> <laughs> I think your ticket sales are going to go. I hope so, because yeah. golly, if they don't after that, say they plummet. <laughs> I'm just gonna I, I just hang myself. Be there with you when, you when your parents find out, <laughs> and they're like, "What happened?" And you're like, "Tom, what did you do?" And I'm like, oh. I, "I tried to make it." <laughs> they're like, "Did Tom fire you?" And I'll be like, "No, he directed it." <laughs> well, because you know he that- made it, mom. That the, in porn, everybody does find out. That's like number one. Yeah. Is that it's a given that your pastor, your stepdad, yeah. your he's gonna do everyone, one scene, one scene. They're all gonna find out. They're not all gonna find out from one scene. If okay. he makes it a career, they'll find out. Unlike any, I really don't um, have respect for my parents, so I don't care if they see it. Yeah, yeah, you know. Oh, I mean, I'm just. So I don't happy. Have respect for my parents. This is says. really good. Thank you, man. God, you're no so problem. Hairy. What does your crotch look like? If you're, I shoulder? keep that one nice and tidy, thanks to the folks at Manscaped. The 3.0 right. oh, available. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Oof, uh, God, that was great. Yeah, that was amazing. I mean, um, I wonder if his legs and his buttocks are that hairy too. I'm yeah. sure the butt's got to be. I'm sure he's got a lot of hair everywhere. Uh, you know who's always gonna have a special place in my heart mm. steven seagal and Always. luckily for all of us he is back in the news this week great he um is teaching uh people at a school how to how to fight against a uh a fucking school shooter he's training no teachers and everything wait a minute he understands the difference between playing somebody in a movie that can do that well, let's, and, let's let's let, okay. let the video answer your question America's war on gun crime is being fought on many fronts, from city streets to offices, even schools. But now the world's most powerful country has a new weapon. Yes, all action hero, Steven Seagal. Oh my God. Yeah, you're not doctors and lawyers, you're cops right now. When you yell at somebody, get down on the ground, they gotta do it. If they don't do it, you gotta make them comply, quick. For every second that goes by, you could be losing children, okay? Yes, sir. 
Yes, sir. Mm. Wait a minute. Like he's a general? An, he's an actor. Yeah. He plays the most a guy. precious asset we have as a society and as human beings is our children. Uh-huh. And I'm here to try to teach the posse uh, firearms and martial arts to try to help them learn how to respond quicker and uh, help protect our children. Uh, uh, there's that delay again. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> is he even a father? Like, does he have children? He does have children. He has... Uh, and... Uh, Children. Uh, he does. Why is he wearing like the Arabic scarf? He does too? that now. Yeah. Oh, he switched his, from a Japanese, his, from the kimono to the Arab. PLO. Jesus. Oh. Those are all his kids? Fuck. He has Ayako Fujitani. He has Arissa LeBrock. LeBrock. Mm. Kentaro Segal. Dominic Segal. Kunzang Segal. Damn. This is crazy. Are there more? This motherfucker. Oh, yeah. Savannah. Oh, uh, my whoa. God. This fool's got One, mad two, kids, three, bro. Four, Damn. He is out of control. I mean, look. But not everyone agrees. Posse members might be shooting at something who knows what and who gets caught in the middle, our little kids. It's the brainchild of controversial Arizona police chief Joe Arpaio, dubbed America's toughest sheriff. Hmm. Him and uh, Stigal are buddies. Is this old or new? I think this is old. It is? It looks old. Yeah, because I think he doesn't like Stigal live abroad now. and He, was, he just had um, warrants served on him uh, by the Security Exchange Commission. The SEC just set, made an announcement this week about Seagal. Really? Yeah. What was he? Sexual no, misconduct? No, no, no. That's another The one. SEC. Right there. See? Scroll down. Mm. The third one. That, that right there. Fined for justice by the SEC. Yeah. I don't know if there's a warrant. Maybe I got that wrong. But they definitely made a... Two fines. It's not a... It's not the first time the martial action star was in the news for a legal scandal. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I don't know exactly. Does it say what he did? This is no? crazy. Well, I, I'm, I can't believe he's giving police advice on how to be police. Yeah. Or, or to, I mean, not even those aren't police, right? Those are just like... Yeah, they're militia. He's at the school. He's teaching people at school. Uh. It's crazy. Yeah, the, let's see. Regina Simmons says Seagal raped her when she was 18 on the set of the oh, On Deadly dear. Ground. Another lady there said she, these are all in the article. She groped them, but yeah, the SEC chart, okay. Seagal promoted the cryptocurrency Bitcoin and failed to disclose his financial stake in the company. Oh, so that's what. He used his social media to encourage fans to invest in Bitcoin's 2 gen IPO in return for 250000 cash and 750000 in Bitcoin. Oh, mm. <clears throat> okay. Well, well, he's still a douchebag, so that's nice. He's consistent. Yeah, he's very cool. Um, oh, real quick, also, we got to mention that you the the calls you guys are doing live calls on Doctor Drew's show. Yeah, Dr. so Drew After Dark. so much fun. We had a blast. Yeah, that's so cool. I did. I got to do calls with him on the episode I sat in on. Yeah, so fun to talk to you guys. And you even did the live calls. Didn't you do them on Where My Mom's At too? Yep, and we're doing it on Where My Mom's At, and Nadav helped me do that yesterday. Nice. It's so much fun to talk to you guys now that we're set up. There's a phone line to yeah. Studio Jeans. You guys can call in, and what That's we awesome. do- You tweet it, right? We tweet it, or I do it on um, The Grum. At the Christina P, I will announce it on Instagram, and uh, so follow me there if you would like to know when we you know, release the hounds of opening the phones. And real quick, uh, one last mention that- um, Channel memberships are now active. They're up. They're ready to go. Uh, if you want to sign up for channel memberships, you get ad-free episodes of your mom's house. Is that nice. right? Yeah, you get ad-free episodes of your mom's house. You'll get them a little bit earlier uh, than they're released publicly. And also, you might see a little bit more of what Tom and Christina see. You know, some stuff we need to kind of cut away from and just see your reactions because it's a little, you know, a little too hot for YouTube. But on these channel membership ones, you're going to see everything. And also, if you look in the description for a link right now, it's going to be the top link in the description. You just click that, and it'll take you to the channel memberships page. Or if you look right next to the subscribe button, there's going to be a join button. That will take you to channel memberships. 
All right. Awesome. Um, real before we end here, Look I think at those we should, blue eyes. I know. I think it's we so should handsome. dip into the fact that Pissbots episode five came out. Um, I'm not going to say anything. Hey, we're uh, back for episode uh, five. I got some Q and A's. Uh, James McCarran says uh, you should rate the things you piss not only on skill level, but by how much piss it holds, how cool looks with PP in it. Mm. You're right, I should. I need to establish a uh, rating system. Still figuring it out, yeah. So. Right. Well, I'm gonna yeah. just uh, piss. I'm gonna chug a beer. We're also in a historical cemetery. Let's see what we got. Yeah. Oh, taking the mask off. He's got a cool mask on. Yeah, you I can know. wear that for your gangbang. I love it. Yeah. Uh, what, what, which historical cemetery is inside of a strip mall? Because I'm not sure. It might be a cemetery, but not historical. Is that what you're saying? Not sure. Uh, what cemetery is next to a strip mall or in yeah. one? Where usually is you, that? Usually you can't walk out of the <laughs> cell phone store into a cemetery. <laughs> right. This is depressing. Yeah. But also, listen. Let's be a little, it's hard to find a groove on a show. Sometimes it takes, takes the first five, six episodes c before you know your characters, yeah. you know your story arcs. And this is where it helps to have a team. If you have, <laughs> you know, kind of a group of people working with you on Piss Spots, you might, you know. Piss Spots. Is that a cop? Probably. Oh, he's got a I don't know. cameraman. I, I forgot that. that. Yeah. Wow. I'm busy into a uh, white claw. Mm. Uh, something. What is it, white claw? A claw. bottle? Oh, it's getting it's a can. White Claw's in a can. So now here's my question because I've drank White Claw and it's narrow. It's like a Red Bull can. It's mm -hmm. not very wide that well, opening. I just said it's getting everywhere. It's getting everywhere. Yeah. And plus the the lip on that's got to be, it's it's a it's a bottle, yeah. whatever. Yeah, pop. a can. Yeah, so it's got to hurt your Sharp. peener. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, well, that's probably why it's getting everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, <laughs> this is the, uh, the White Claw. Pour it out like always. It was great. Um, Toss I'll it. Put that in my pocket. I don't want to litter. Uh, oh, that's yeah. nice. And, uh, so there's another guy over there. It's a great episode. <laughs> I I have to say I this one's my favorite. Yeah. So far, I love the goth theme. I, you know me, I'm a huge fan of Halloween, so yeah. I'm into the spookiness of it's this. It's really good, man. I like White All Claw. Right, so um, I give it. I give this place. My landscaping company cuts this, uh, so I call it nostalgia. This is great. You can see a CVS over there. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, yeah. What the fuck? He's like, this is a CVS. There we go. This is a piss spots. Episode five. There's gonna stake here in the ground. Wow. The ground's frozen. Whatever. All right, and that's it. I give it a five out of five piss. Uh, wow. Uh, call Hog Jim on camera, and we're doing that. Doing Great it. episode. Great episode. Great episode. I, you know, they added production value. Now we've got a cameraman. We've got the flag, the Piss Spots flag. New additions. It's getting better and better every episode. Yep. Very uh, exciting. He's growing as an artist. He's evolving and changing. Okay, well, this is uh, all great. Um, let's run through these dates real quick. Um, I will be at Harris Valley Center, California, Harris Resort, uh, April 18th. Spanish shows the week after the 20th, 21st, 22nd, 23rd in Texas. Um, and then I go, oh, uh, the 28th, the Wiltern with Burt Kreischer. We're doing Two Bears, One Cave Live. I go back to the Mirage in Las Vegas, the 29th and 30th of May. West Palm in June. Uh, with a Spanish show on the 7th in Miami at the Improv there, and then back to the Mirage in July. Um, August 15th, the Borgata, and October, back to the Mirage. I'm also announcing a bunch of new dates coming up soon. Don't forget my new special, Ball Hog, oh. premieres March 24th on Netflix. Uh, Jean, you want to? I'm go so through? excited for people to see your special. Yeah. it's so funny, and you, you did such a great job. Okay, uh, coming up, I got Dallas, Texas. I have Caroline's Comedy Club, April third and fourth. Good times. Big announcement, April seventh, London at Bush Hall. Tickets are going really, really fast for that. So if you want to go, go now. Black buy tickets. Oh, 
Thank you. I forgot yeah. we're doing that. Uh, April 24th to 25th, Des Moines, Iowa. Fort Worth, and where do you mean? <laughs> and then May 1st, I do a show at the Netflix is a Joke Festival. I have my own show at the Regis St. Regis Theater. So buy tickets May 1st, wow. LA, LA, New Westminster, BC, Phoenix, uh. Phoenix, Arizona, Stand Up Live. How retarded. Cleveland, Ohio. That hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> San Antonio, Texas. I approve Jews. <laughs> Take a link at Christina P online. Check out where my mom's at and follow me on the Grom at this Christina should P. Be easy. All right, <laughs> uh, that's it. Oh. We'll be back soon. All right, Christine. Let me ask you a question. Mm -hmm. When was the last time you shaved your balls? Oh, this morning. This morning. <laughs> You know, I got to reach down there myself and double check your work. <laughs> uh, luckily for you and I, we have the great people at Manscaped, and they have designed the much anticipated Perfect Package 3.0. Oh. 2.0 was around for a minute, and it was pretty good, but it could get better, and it has gotten better. Manscaped is the only men's brand dedicated to below the waist grooming and hygiene. I'm telling you, I have been using uh, tweezers, scissors, fingernail clippers, anything to address the hair around my junk for a long time, thinking it would never get better. And then Manscaped comes along and literally knocks my pubes right off. That's how good they are. <laughs> the perfect tools for the family jewels. The Perfect Package 3.0 comes with new and improved lawnmower 3.0, waterproof cordless body trimmer, and a ton of other liquid formulations to round out your manscaping routine. The third generation trimmer features a cutting edge ceramic blade to prevent manscaping accidents. Millions of balls are about to be nick free thanks to Manscaped's advanced skin safe technology. And of course, let's not forget the crop preserver, anti-chafing ball deodorant. You already put deodorant in your armpits. Why not put it under your, your ball bag? Uh, when you purchase the, the Perfect Package 3.0 kit at manscaped.com, you get the biggest bang for your buck. Subscribers get a new replacement blade refill for your lawnmower trimmer delivered to your door every three months, making sure your trimmer always stays fresh and clean. For a limited time, subscribers get not one, but two free gifts, the Shed Travel Bag, a $39 value, and the patented high-performance anti-chafing Manscaped boxer briefs. This is the perfect package for your perfect package. Get 20% off plus free shipping with the code MOM20 at manscaped.com. Do, do yourself a favor and always use the right tools for the job. Get 20% off and free shipping with the code MOM20 at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com and use the code MOM20. Your partner, your body, and your balls will Thank you. Oh, Gene, I love my quip. Do you know if you brush for two minutes at a time? Well, I do because that's right. I got yeah. the quip toothbrush that lets me know when my two minutes are up because you got to do that twice a day, two minutes. You got to floss. Uh, it, but quip makes it simple because they give you this whole package. You get your electric toothbrush, your refillable floss and your anti-cavity toothpaste. And it even has a little marked out on the floss. So you know how much to use. You're, so not, you're wasting not floss. wasting. It's fantastic. It gets delivered to your door every three months with free shipping. So your routine is always right. There are over 3 million healthy mouths that get Quip already starting at $25. So if you go to getquip.com slash mom right now, you'll get your first refill free. That's your first refill free at getquip.com slash mom. That's G-E-T-Q-U-I-P dot com slash mom. Quip, the good habits company. Our next guest thinks that child pornography laws are too loose in this country. <laughs> you know, I, used to have a, I, I, said, I said one time, I was in the car, I was like, what if, I go, Leanne, I just figured this out. Go, oh my God, what is this, my new thing, kitty porn? <laughs> sure, I, Bert, you fat racist child pornographer. You're such a fucking cunt. <laughs> Uh, I said, I said. Our next guest <laughs> wants America to be the way it used to be. He has a new special out. It's called Hey, hey Big, Big Boy. Boy on Netflix right now. <sighs> it's Bert Kreischer. Hey. Guys, remind me to tell you about kitty porn and then remind me to tell you. <laughs> tell us about your current kitty porn stash. I said to Leanne one time, <laughs> I was buzzed in the car and I went, oh my God, I think I just figured it out. She goes, what? And I said, why don't. What if they just made kitty porn legal 
And that way, all these guys that want to fuck kids, they can just have stuff that they can jerk off to, and they don't have to fuck kids. And she goes, yeah, except for the kids that are getting fucked in the kitty porn. And I went, yeah, I didn't think that through. <laughs> I didn't, yeah, my bad. Well, yeah, Because I was on board, too. I was like, well, wait a minute. Well, let's hear the argument. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah. I think we found a good but, promo for okay. this episode right there. <laughs> but, okay, but but <laughs> but Bert, what if we cast like Andy Milanakis, who looks like a kid? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Or those Pejoria, and those then, people with Pejoria or whatever that disease is that they look. <laughs> they look yeah yeah, yeah. yeah I think weird that's no idea. i think they look oh, old they look old? okay yeah. is there a disease where they look young i don't know i don't Pajoria. think so how come no one has old like what's up <laughs> oh, oh shit oh, man. Oh, stop no. it <laughs> get the <laughs> fuck out of there <laughs> shippers wait you were saying you hate leanne yeah i do but what was i wanting to say before that oh i can't believe you hate leanne she's my favorite the person. inside jokes my first opening <laughs> <laughs> my first opening 15 minutes are about you and Tom. <laughs> In what? Oh, and my new hour. <laughs> really? Oh, yeah. There's a point where I talk about you where the it all I say is imagine <laughs> Tom Segura and the place goes fucking nuts. And then I go and then I read lean right into the story of you tending that big black cock to Leanne and her not knowing it, just fording it to everyone. That is so fucking funny. That oh, kills so hard. God. Yeah, it's everything. Absolutely beautiful. And yeah. <laughs> what was What's that, that from? That's, that's from you. I don't know. You oh, no. We got a bunch of stuff you've said. <sighs> well, I talk about being Jesus pregnant Christ. and how I, 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 it sucks being, you get depressed after postpartum depression because you're fatter than Bert and then place just goes nuts. Like oh, all I have to good. say is it's fatter than Bert and uh, people really love it. People always come up to me and they go, hey man, you're not as fat as <laughs> they say. And I was like, yeah, I know. And then like, I don't get it. And I go, I'm also not racist, okay? By the way, my bus driver leans into the racist thing. He loves that joke so much. <laughs> he does? Yeah, but he doesn't do it as a joke. He does it. He, what makes him laugh is he does it for real. He what? just says... People will recognize him and he'll just go, you know, he's a fucking racist and walk away. <laughs> and I go, Ron, they don't know that you're joking. And he goes, yeah, that's what makes that's me what laugh. That's what makes it laugh. And he yeah, goes, yeah. yeah, he does does it all the time. Yeah. All that he did it at a meet and greet one time and it got uncomfortable because they didn't know he's my bus driver. He's just standing there and he's like, I can't believe you guys are waiting in line to shake hands with a fucking racist. And they're just sitting there like, wait, are, is he really racist? And I was like, guys, this is a joke. And they're like, it doesn't sound like one. This is awesome. Yeah, this it's is, great. It's really great. This has. By the way, I did an interview today and the guy goes, so, so in your specials, you're always like, your body's always the joke. I go, I'm the skinniest I've been in 15 years in this last special. And he goes, are you serious? I go, yeah, it's 220. And he goes, oh, wow. I thought you gained weight. I go, it's branding. It's, I, I, I'm the skinniest I've ever been in this special. The, is, that, is that right, though? Yeah, it's right after Sober October. It's the skinniest oh, I was. The yeah. mo I wish we had it pulled right now when Tommy Lee was. Do we have it? When Tommy Lee was here? I don't know. Oh, that was the best. What? When I was like, you know, Bert's getting gastric bypass. And they were like, what? <laughs> and I was like, he's getting gas. They're like, they're like, no, we saw him. Like a while ago, he he didn't seem that fat, and I was like, "Oh no, he put on eighty pounds in like a month." And they were like, "What?" Hey, by the and way, that's totally capable. I'm totally capable. Of doing that. And they were like, "Nah." -uh. And then all we did was pull up your Instagram, and they both at the same time were like, "Whoa, whoa." <laughs> Wait, Bert, Bert, you could what? gain 80 pounds in one month. What are you Without eating? Like, oh, okay, there but you there you are. No, it's not so bad. That's that's, that's yesterday. Good. Oh. Uh. That looks good. But what are you eating? Like, walk us through your day. Uh, you know what it is? Or what it's, do you want to eat? Walk us through that. Solid. It's, uh, I have my lunch. I, 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 every time I go, I'm going to eat healthy. I'm going to eat healthy. And then I get there and I go, oh, come on, man. You're going to go work out today. Get a little something you like. Don't, yeah. don't kill yourself. Because if I kill myself, then I'm going to, the wheels will come off at two in the morning. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So like, I've been getting a lot of burgers lately. Mm -hmm. but I think they're pretty healthy. What I do is I take the bottom bun off and just I eat like a fucking a weirdo. Like yeah. when I when I eat cheeseburgers, I told you this McDonald's cheeseburgers. Yeah, oh I love them. Which I had four of along with a triple cheeseburger the other day. Oh my! At once. McDonald's has a triple cheeseburger now. They do. Oh, it's so good. Wait, you didn't have any fries, did you? I had fries too. Okay. How about a Coke? Diet, Milkshake. Diet. No, no, no. And so I've been eating a lot of burgers lately. And then at night, I'll try to eat something healthy. It's weird. I'm not really hungry at night. Like, I don't get hungry at night. Mm -hmm. Like, when we get off stage, everyone kind of has already eaten a little bit. Yeah. And I'm not really that hungry. And then I have a few cocktails. and Then you get hungry. Then I get hungry. Yeah. And, yeah. I, and, then usually, and what are you eating at late night? Maybe like... Pizza. Yeah. 
I don't need what to, did you order? Guys, I don't even need to do this show. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tell us uh, when you, I think you arrived in Boston and you told me you ordered 12 pizzas and what? nine bottles of wine. What? Oh, who, I did not tell you that, but that is true. What? You did tell me that. I did not tell you that. Yeah, you Someone did. must have told you that. No, you told I me. I have a fucking snake in my camp. No, you told me. <laughs> I ordered 12 pizzas and nine bottles of wine. Because well, Hold on, the bus wasn't totally stocked. It was like our first stop. Oh, right. And, and we got there and we was like... And then what? it lasted you, what, a month and a half? We, the, <laughs> <laughs> the wine was gone uh-huh. by the next night. Uh-huh. I mean, we just uh-huh. tore... We didn't have any booze on the bus. So we all drank wine. And we murdered those pizzas. How many yeah. people are is we? Uh, six. Um, so wait, wait, wait. Me. It's a lot of pizzas. Me. Yeah, no. There's two U's. <laughs> there's, it sounds no, right. Me, Andrew, Parfait, uh, Shane, Dave, Jesus, and Ron. So seven people. You have seven people on tour. It's awesome. Really, you like it's it like that? Fucking. So take awesome. me through because I don't even recognize half the names. Okay, so my, I'm Burt Kreischer. Yeah. Andrew is my cousin, cousin Ed. Yeah, right, right. You met Andrew. Yep. He does all my social media. He brings yep. a video with me. He shot the video of us going down the sl- down the mountain in the cardboard sled this week. Oh, did you see fine. that? I yeah, did. Yeah. Yeah. It was fun as shit. And then, uh, and then, Parfait is my tour manager. He's like uh, does all the gets there, does the sound and check the lighting. Yep. Gives them the load in music. Does the uh, merch. That's Parfait. We call him Parfait because he was the one that convinced us to go to McDonald's. And we all ordered, ordered like shit, and he ordered a Parfait. Mm-hmm. And we're what like, is a Parfait? Who, like yogurt? Fucking, who orders a Parfait at McDonald's? Yeah, I don't even know what that is. Yeah, it's. I think it's like a healthy Oh, it's their option. yogurt oh, thing. Oh, fuck yeah, that. Yeah. But there's all sugar in Tons there, too. Sugar. It's yeah, not healthy. He's not the brightest guy. And then <laughs> and then Dave Williamson, he is a comic based yeah. out of Miami. Lives, or lives, in, lives in L.A., but from Miami. And he smokes meat every, every night. Oh, fine. So we have a smoker we travel with. War so, Eagle. He's an Auburn guy. Yeah, War Eagle. Yeah. yeah. And so he's got a podcast called Meet Dave. He's going to love that I give him a shout out about there. Yeah. And, but he every night, it's really amazing. He'll get either ribs or a brisket, and he'll smoke ribs and a brisket. Every night? Just about every night. Yeah. Just about every night. Die. I mean, are you And then even... who's next? And then Shane Torres. Okay. Shane Torres is based out of New York. So you have two openers on your show. I have three openers and Jesus. But on every show, you have yeah, three yeah, openers? Yeah, yeah. It's fun that way. They'll How long like is the show? An hour thirty. Wait, hour, wait so they hour. get ten minutes a piece. The opener. Oh, they each do ten. Yeah, That's they each fun. do ten, and kind of tag team, and it's good because you know it kind of sucks, in, especially in our shows. The load in takes forever. I mean, yeah. you start the show at seven, but people aren't sitting down no. until seven thirty. Yeah, yeah. And so, as opposed to one person taking a bullet, they each take turns and they each get a good spot. And I think it. I think it's it's fun for me to travel with that many people because you wake up in the morning, everyone's bullshitting in the morning about the night before. At the end of the night, everyone's in there drinking. I love. Do you do hotels on top or no? Do you I, go- we we did this last week uh, in DC, mm-hmm. but usually not. You, everyone just sleeps, sleeps on the bus, the bus and yeah. it's man, it's like everything I ever dreamed about in stand up is so much fucking fun. And then the great thing is they're all three great comics, so you're workshopping. Like I had a bit, I had a bit this week that was a little aggressive. And they each said not to do it. And then I did it. And then they came back and they were like, guess we were right about that, huh? So, yeah. Yeah. And so, uh, <laughs> but you, they, they kind of workshop, like, especially taking on a new hour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I really leaned it's on n- that. It's nice to have uh, good comics around you when you're working stuff out because they give you good ideas, good oh, tags. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, Hey Big Boy was filmed in Cleveland. Cleveland, seven shows. Seven shows at the, what, where was it? The Agora. the Agora. Wait, you filmed seven shows? I still filmed four. I will film seven the next time. Really? I. It is so much easier. Four shows was perfect. I mean, we did the first show was not that great. First show was not that great. And we're like, great. Get it on the second show. If not, we got another night of filming. Do the next show. There's a fucking mustard stain on my pants. Oh. <laughs> I must have had a hot dog. <laughs> and no one noticed it. Between shows? <laughs> <laughs> Skinny as I ever was. Uh, you're like, that was a good first show. Well, <laughs> and, and your wardrobe needs are oh, minimal. Babe Ruth, I just walked off stage. You know, I talk. What you guys think of that? Huh? Well, and all you do is wear pants. You don't even have a shirt. I would have a mustard stain. It was right on my Dude, leg. You should have used that fucking tape. <laughs> I know. <laughs> the shirtless guy. But, but it, it was a great show. So we, <laughs> we didn't use any of that show. And then uh, the next two uh, shows were awesome, but but it was so great. It was like fifty grand more, right? To yeah. shoot two more shows. But don't you yeah. find? Because I was considering this too, but then then you're stressed out for two days straight versus just being no, stressed no, you're not out. stressed out at all. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. Once I you get, get it, once you get it in the can, shoot. you're like, it, then now I get to have fun. 
Yeah. Okay. And so and what do you end up using the next? I end up, day? I end up using the last show. Last oh, show was wow. la, last show was just perfect. It was just everything was perfect. Um, the uh, from the beginning joke to like it just flowed very quickly, which right. is what I wanted. I didn't want it to feel long. And yeah. So, yeah. And how long is the special? Like an hour? Fifty-seven minutes. I think. Wow. Oh, perfect. Yeah, shit. Right? I got mine. Uh, you're, I just saw your trailer today. It looks fucking awesome. Oh, thanks, thanks. I yeah. got yours here uh, because this is your episode. So here we go. Oh God damn it! I got excited for a fucking second. Für richtig hält's, ob du glaubst, dass ich scheiße gewesen bin, dass ich gearbeitet habe, dass ich nicht in diesen Jahren für dich eingesetzt habe, dass ich anständig meine Zeit verwendet habe, Dienst deines Volkes. Gib du jetzt eine Stimme ab. <laughs> definitely Hitler. I am definitely Hitler. All right. Hey, big boy on Netflix right now. Shout out to Brian Monarch. Yeah, that was great. <laughs> fucking Brian Monarch. <laughs> Where are the fucking neo Nazis with copyright infringement pulling that shit down? You know? I know. You put up one hip hop song and they rip it off the internet in a second. The neo Nazis need to step up their game and get that taken down. Get it taken down, guys. <laughs> Um, no, that looked great though. You look great yeah. in the outfit. Do you know what's crazy? I had a joke in there that um, this is how savage the internet is. I had a joke in there in the in the, in the trailer, the real trailer, where I said uh, I want to have sex with Leanne, but she was sick. Yeah, she said, I don't. "Oh yeah, this was a great joke." Yeah, she goes, uh, she goes, "I don't want to get you sick." I was like, "We practice safe sex." She's like, "You're gonna wear a condom?" I was like, "No, doggy style." So you cough into the wall, <laughs> right? The next day, it's memed. Fifty uh Cent posts it. He did? Wow. Yeah. That's yeah. great, though. That's great. No, 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 no. Why? No. He posted, Why? they meme it so that I'm taken out of it, uh, and they do coronavirus, uh, unsafe sex, and it's missionary, and then they're like, safe sex, and she's coughing into oh, the wall. Oh, I got you. Uh, and I was like, motherfucker. Just tag me, bro. Yeah, tag me. Give me some credit, 50 Cent. Don't be. And that what pisses Jeez. me off is you. we and you have talked about this. Yeah. I'm such a fucking fan of his. I know. I'm such a fan of his, and I thought he was so funny, and then when I see that, I'm like, He's just got a social media team. What about Leanne? You said you hated her. Oh. oh. Yeah. What's up with that stupid bro? I love Leanne. By the way, she does episodes of Where My Mom's At, and she is fantastic. She does Wife of the Parties, her you know, podcast. she wanted to do on the St. Patty's Day. Uh, I, I almost toyed with the idea, but I was like, I don't, I don't want, I didn't want to. I, I get really weird about this because we're doing, uh, I don't think I've announced it, but we're doing, I think we're doing uh, Doug Loves Movies. Um tiger belly and we needed one more and so she goes what if we did like a live so over october and everyone everyone in the, on my team was like oh my god that'd be fucking amazing i was like no no this is kind of my thing like i love you and you can show up and hang out but let's not i, I don't know I'm, I'm really weird about that like you, you know not to yeah. be a dick but you're not a professional comic i don't want you on the stage at the store i don't mean i don't want to be a dick but you know what i mean anyway she has lost and she's like uh, well well, hold on a second, Bert. <laughs> get, now get, 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 get her done. Um, <laughs> she does not say that. Get her done. She, that's what she says when she's about to have an orgasm. Oh, yeah. get her done. Get her done. Uh, Go on now. Moan back, moan back, moan back. Ew. Um. Oh, yes. God. Someone's going to skeet, skeet, skeet. Uh. <laughs> she, uh, she's lost like 15 pounds. She looks amazing right now. She looks phenomenal. Yeah, I, I was about to say I fucked her last night. I we had sex last night, mm -hmm. and it was, it was entry level Leanne, like back from like wow. back. Wow, it was. Do you feel kind of like? Don't no stop stop but stop <laughs> stop. So last night, <laughs> hold on, this is this is where I'm losing my shit. Okay, uh -huh. for years I've said to Leanne, why, she's like wanted to lose weight. I go, why don't I get you a personal trainer? She's like, no. I go, why don't you go to spin class with me? She goes, no. I go, why don't you go to boot camp with me? No, I'm not going to boot camp. I'm not going to spin class. I'm doing it my way. I'm doing it my way. All of a sudden, her friend Sandy gets a personal trainer and says, you should come in. And she's like, okay, I'm going to try it. She gets a personal trainer, and now she is captain exercise. She is king expert on fitness. She knows everything. It's as if I have never worked out a day in my life. Last night, we're watching a fish called Wanda, and John Cleese takes his shirt off. He was 50, and he's ripped in it. For uh, whatever reason, John Cleese was ripped. And Leanne goes, wow, I didn't know he was so ripped. I go, he looks great. And she looks at me, and she goes, with a little hard work, maybe you could look like that. And I went, <laughs> I didn't say anything, right? Because mm -hmm. just like. Because mm -hmm. I, I got to keep my fucking mouth shut about her workout insights that she's gained 
from this fucking Isn't trailer. it the worst when like broads start acting okay. like Okay. All right, guys. Is she like I read a book. Oh. Yeah. Do you know, have you ever um, heard of a have you ever heard of a of a, a medicine ball? And I'm like <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, I've heard of one. Up you, your protein. Up your pro- <laughs> I'll tell you what you need to do. You need to stop eating bread. Oh, really? Is that what you're telling me? Shut the fuck up. Maybe I should quit drinking too, huh? You think that would help? You think so? Does my sleep help too? I have a fucking whoop thing. I've been using whoop. I know more about fucking heart rate variability than you ever know in your fucking life. Yeah. I'm so, this, I'm, I'm biting my tongue going, she is going through a great moment in her life yeah. and I need to be there for her and, I want, and she looks great and, I, and she's happy. But it's this weird condescending, like, I kind of got it figured out, Bert, yeah. and you're a mess, and yeah. let me tell you what you need to do. Right. She's like, maybe mm. you need to see my trainer. I go, it's not your trainer. Your trainer's great. Your trainer is the fact that I'm, I'm busting my fucking ass. So last night we get in bed, and she makes another comment. She's rubbing my belly. She goes, what is, is that just like. It's just a fat, like when you talk, I go, hey, can we lay off me? <laughs> like, and I go, and she goes, what? And giggles. I go, I, and I, I go, you, when you, John Cleese came up, you said, with a little hard work, you can look like, she goes, that's not what I said. I go, that's fucking exactly what you said. I've been chewing that statement over my head the whole time. I go, listen, I am killing myself on the road. I am out every fucking Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I come home Monday. I leave Wednesday. I'm like, I'm busting my ass. I'm trying to work out. I go to hot spit. I like melted down in bed. And she was like, I'm sorry. And then she got out of bed naked and she goes, you got to admit, I look amazing, right? It's almost like a totally different person. <laughs> it's like a totally different person. This morning she came out naked, naked. She's walking around naked. She goes, you got to be honest. Morning Leanne looks even hotter than night Leanne. I'm like, <laughs> and what's the verdict? You, you think so, yeah? She is so fucking hot right now. It's, I, I, it's, a, it's such a trade-off is that you get, you have, you know, she looks amazing, but you got to deal with Jillian Michaels. Like right. yeah. she's, Always giving you workout advice, yeah, yeah, or yeah. you know, you gotta do, you gotta start, start doing arms. And I was like, you almost want to trade it in, right? You're like, just put the twenty back on. And I, I gotta be honest with you, up. I I can't wait till she gets fat again yeah. because <laughs> I loved her fat. Like I love her body either way. Yeah, I mean, it's a it's a little more. I mean, it's fucking awesome. It looks so good. She looks amazing. She looks so good in like in clothes. She looks great. And, and what's other? What's other thing that's blowing send away? nudes? Share nudes with, uh, with yeah, us. Yeah, why don't you send us some beaver pics? Let's, let's, I, tr- I tried to take a pic today. You did? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was fucking. Oh. Can you? We do this. We'd be like, hey, uh, we just text you. Be like, is it cool to just show Tom this um, a pic I have of you? By the way, I I wouldn't be shocked. I'm not even yeah. lying. I wouldn't be shocked if she does a tasteful nude photo shoot after this. Oh, really? she should. Because I mean. Bro, she's got like almost got abs now. Oh wow! And she's like, I'm not even at my goal weight. My goal weight, and what's crazy is that she is working out hard as fuck. Her trainer Mikel is actually legit. Whatever he has done, I mean, they have like hmm. spiritual conversations. I'm so terrified she's gonna fuck him. I need a trainer. I'm so yeah, I wouldn't go I saw for stretching her out. Yeah. Uh oh, I wouldn't go for a male trainer. I I agree. If I I've only ever done with ladies. What if he was? He like is he hot? Yeah, is he is he gorgeous. Latin? He's gorgeous. No, he's not Latin. He's gorgeous. He's a little darker than Latin. <laughs> is he a hot black guy? He's a hot black guy. Oh no, she's no totally mask. gonna bang him. No mask. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> What's that mean? What's that mean? Oh, we were just discussing possible porno <laughs> scenarios that we would put ourselves in. <laughs> and uh, like if let's say broke Bert, you're your yeah. broke. Which year? Like, like what's your oh, worst financial oh, year? Oh, six, oh, five. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, four. Yeah. Okay. When George so, was born. So you're you're struggling to pay rent is the scenario. <laughs> like you're like, fuck. Yeah. And then would you do some type of sex act on camera? And then for what amount of money? So like. I, I would. I said, you know, really I, would, I would put on like a luchador mask and masturbate to yeah. get like some rent money. Um, yeah. Christina was like, yeah, maybe foot stuff, and then she was like, or a gangbang, and I was like, well, what? hear me out. Hear and me out. And then she goes, but I'd wear a mask. I'd wear a mask because I didn't know mask was an option. I would do like an entire basketball team oh, gangbang interracial. I want to make money, bitch. God, the mask doesn't mean it's not you. It's still you. <laughs> You can't just go. And there's eleven I, I guys. Can't just go. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna so, show you. I'm gonna show you what you just did. Okay. What would my scenario be? Oh, I'd suck twenty dudes' dicks, but I'd have a mask on. Funny. Yeah. No one still will know. You. I'm still it's doing. Still it. you. Yeah. But I didn't say sucking dicks. And no, they're but, gang no, but bang. What do you think happened? Gets, different. They just rail you. Nope. <laughs> and then you're saying I'm interested in getting gang banged, but you're pretending that once the 
mask goes on is not connected to you. It's still you. <laughs> You're still. It's not me. I want someone to break a light bulb in my asshole, but I'm wearing a mask. <laughs> oh. Burn, answer the question. Whoa, whoa, oh. whoa. We're not just leaving this. <laughs> what? I feel like I'm fine. I don't I don't think it's that big of a deal. What do you mean it's not a big it's deal? A Rail by deal. It's a big deal. It's a gangbang with a fucking basketball team. And, basketball team. And I'm paying rent for like three oh. years, bro. No, you're oh. not getting three years yeah, rent. Huh? Oh. The way it's gonna be fans only, and I'll set up oh. a membership and I'll be making bank, bro. Well, let oh. me give you through the rest of this. This slut's doing that. Then <laughs> Nadav said he would do uh, submissive, be like spit on and spank, <laughs> but no scars. <laughs> Any is like, yeah, I'll just shoot a scene right now, today, no mask, no nothing, and then come back to work here tomorrow. Like he's he doesn't Damn. he doesn't care. He'll shoot a scene. He said he'll shoot a scene, no problem. Josh thinks it'll help him sell tickets, and he <laughs> is well he is willing to do a scene with a girl. He picks the girl, and then. 10 guys can come in at the end and come on his shoulder. Like, I'll tell you what. <laughs> I, I would definitely like to see that guy in person. <laughs> I don't know if I care about his comedy that much, but I would like to see that human being yeah. that chose that scenario. I know. And we're shooting that one. We're going to oh, shoot it. Can I be one of the guys that comes on his shoulder? I want to wear a mask. <laughs> <laughs> then you didn't do it. <laughs> oh, no, it's not me. <laughs> I love it. I want to get gangbanged oh. by an interracial basketball team, but I'm going to be wearing a mask. No one will know, <laughs> and I never years, did it. When I become a famous comedian, oh. nobody will be able to be like, there's Christina when she was a hoe getting banged. Oh, That's God. why. Wait, okay, so, okay, secondly, too, I asked Tom for a dick pic when he was away, and he refused. Would you send Leanne a dick pic? If I'll she send her one right now. Yeah. You know, Here, she, Tom, I'll text you some of my dick pics and you send them to her. Sure. As yours. <laughs> Wait, well, let's do this. Let's take a picture of me and Tom's I would dick. know that it's yours. Let's take a picture of me and Tom's dick and we'll send you both <laughs> to a group text to you and Leanne and you guys got to pick whose dick is the, whose of dick. Of course I know uh, whose do you dick think, is Do you think dick? it would take some real sleuths I to know. put this together? I Let me see your dick. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's go look at each other's dicks in the bathroom. Okay. And then we'll take pictures. We'll get them to look similar. We'll fluff them up so that they look alike. <laughs> There's no Except way. Yours is gonna be covered in hair like Chewbacca. It's pretty. Is your hairy? <laughs> no, I trim. Manscape 3.0. Manscape 3.0. Thank you, Manscape, for the 3.0. The per the fucking uh, LED light they have is yeah. so good for mustaches. Um, but what kind of porn? You, you fluff it up nice and good for a photo, though, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. You know what's I've funny? Got, I taken. I sent. I think I sent you a, a, the perfect dick pic one time. Oh yeah, but that was With, Photoshop. Uh, no, no, no. Oh no, those were. I, yeah. I was. Those I were good ones. That. I have. I have. <laughs> those. I can. Those so I can funny. Photoshop a dick pic like nobody's business. That looked like like a. God. That was yeah. really. Oh, that, <laughs> that was serious. You, you called me immediately, and yeah. you were like, "Bro, is that your piece?" I'm and like, I was like, "Oh my I, god, that got sent." I'm like, how are you still with Leanne? <laughs> you gotta get a divorce. Because he was sneaky. Remember the photo was like. Like he was in the mirror, like you were taking a photo of yourself. And you're like, oops. Oopsie. It was an oopsie <laughs> pick. And Tom yeah. was like, is that Bert's hog? And you zoomed in. I was like, no. <laughs> I would post it online, but I'm afraid someone can do some retroactive yeah. Photoshop where they go, actually, that's what Bert's dick really looks like. And they would be like, whoa. Because when you, cause when, you, when you hold that button, when you hold that page, it goes to the original picture, and then you let your finger up, it goes to the old picture, oh. and it would break my heart when I looked at my real dick. Like, Well, yeah, compared to that dick. It looked like a pinky compared to a thumb. It was, you know how some people, like, when you, when you see their dick, they go, it gets bigger? You know, like, they'll be like, it, it gets bigger. Oh, yeah, oh, I dick. say that all the time. Uh, mine, I, I feel like mine, if you see my dick, I'll go, it gets smaller. Like it. <laughs> Wait, do you like, have a shower or a grower? Oh, uh, a grow. But here's the thing. It grows in both directions. Like, I've seen, like, right now my dick is, goes like. Goes back into you also? Sometimes it goes just all the way up inside, and it hides. Like, every time I do any type of exercise, any t if, I, if I feel unsure in any way, if I have anxiety, I'll be like, where's my dick? And I'll, I'll reach down, and I'll be like, oh. I can barely. I have to pull it out of a sheath. When I was at my fast, which is. Real close to where I am right now. <laughs> <laughs> when I was at my fattest, tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Which is, if I don't watch myself this weekend. <laughs> when I was at my fattest. How I'm not much even, do I'm, you weigh now? I'm not even close. My, my fattest no. was 258. 
How much do you weigh now? Two thirty nine. No, when, you're when not my so hands fast. on the wall. Okay. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. I don't weigh myself in like it's a like it's a fight. I weigh myself no. in like like hey, let's just brace ourselves and then lower <laughs> us into a weight we like and then we let go. Okay. Um, so. <laughs> When I was at my fattest, my dick was going back into my body. I was recircumcising myself. Uh So when I sat, my pubis would push my dick back into a foreskin. Yeah. And it was disgusting. And I rode a bike (laughs) from L.A., from uh, from Philadelphia to... to Yeah, Atlantic City. Atlantic City. And my dick was inside my body the entire time. Yeah. It was so sad. And I was like, I got to lose weight. I got to lose weight. (laughs) And then I lost all the weight. And then I just gained it back. What the fuck, dude? What is wrong with me? I'm thinking, you know, I'm really thinking, I'm I'm really thinking like, we were talking about doing, uh, I was thinking about doing shape roll. What's that? Where you get in good shape for April. Ooh. But. Shape roll. Shape roll. Shape roll. Good idea. I think Shane Torres brought it up. And, but here's the thing. We got to do the combine soon. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm ready for that. 40 yard dash, bench press for reps, mm-hmm. vertical leap. Um, we'll do shuffle ball change. Sh- shuffle ball change. Did someone just come home back from a tap dance lesson? He did. <laughs> the uh, no. wait, kick ball change. Isn't it kick ball? No, uh, it's shuffle ball. Yeah. No, I think I don't think broad I don't jump. Know. Let's see. Okay, other. do the broad jump. Pull up the pull up the list of things that we do on a on a on a combine. I I listed five of them. We're not going to we do, do, do all bench of them. press. Yeah, yeah, I, I said that. Okay, forty yard dash, vertical Vert- jump. My vertical jump sucks. We'll do the bench press. Yeah, we'll do, we'll do these. One, we'll do one, two, three, vertical jump. We'll do the broad jump, uh, three cone drill. We could do or shuttle run. Yeah, there's more. There's more than that. But that we don't want to do fucking we're twenty. Not gonna, it's not gonna be, we're not gonna make a meal out. We want to do this. We want to do forty yard dash. That's a, that's the most exciting. That's your yes. best bench press for sure. Mm-hmm. Vertical leap. What do we do at two twenty five? Are we gonna lower it to something we can do once? <laughs> We can do we can do one eighty five if you want. What's or, a three or one thirty five? No. Why? What one thirty five to us is two twenty five to them. That's true. Yeah, let's do one thirty five for reps. Yeah, I gotta get into the fucking gym. But I mean, we're gonna be. I just started. We can't do one thirty five. Did you see my push ups? I can do forty push ups in a row. Your, really? Your, your Doctor Oz push ups? Yeah, my Doctor Oz push ups. Let yeah. me see. There you go. It's, it's online. You can find them. You just yeah. go like this. Like yeah. they, him and Mark. That Walbert. was so weird. It was so bizarre that they did those like that. They just went like this. And when you do it like that, it's super easy. Well, I, yeah, did, you're just I did 50. Momentum, I did 50 right? in a row. It was Dr. Oz and uh, Mark, Paul, Walk, Paul, Mark Wahlberg. And they did. Uh, <laughs> Who was that? That was Larry King. <laughs> Saying Mark Wahlberg. <laughs> did you, you Did you not that? see this? I saw you on Larry King. I didn't know that. Uh, he, play the other one, Tom. Yeah. Well. Saka Souffle. Yeah. Soccer soufflé. Chocolate soufflé. He couldn't say it. He goes, soccer soufflé. How old is he? He's 86. Mark Mark Wahlberg. Oh, my God. That makes me want to quit drinking. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, my God. (laughs) Woo! Uh, Let's see if I can... Shape roll. We were saying... I like shape roll. You ready for this? You're allowed 30 drinks. Ooh. Right? So you can... Bang it out on a weekend, but you can't drink all week. Okay. 30 drinks. You're allowed, uh, but you got to go like vegan or something. Or you got to do something crazy. Oh, I got to take a shit soon. Ooh. Again? Yeah. We I've been shitting a lot lately. We did Jesus' show. Sorry. Oh. The Tacos Contoto, we had like 20 talks yesterday from different vendors. So this morning, Tom and I were simultaneously shitting like hot dogs, hot. Do you know he's, fire. Do you know he's technically not even Mexican? What? what That's yeah, not His true. name's Ned Holness. No. <laughs> you didn't hear that? I didn't know. That's great, though. <laughs> <laughs> he is really Mexican. Oh, like, yeah. dude, I I tour with Jesus. Sometimes, you know, I, I grew up in white privilege, like pretty regular white privilege. Someone's, ask, someone's asking me about it. I got a job. What are you winking at? Mark that for a highlight. <laughs> I, I grew I got, up with a white privilege. You did. Too. Oh, you didn't. You did. But you're not white. So. No, I did. I'm blonde. Yeah. But um, I was saying... Like, I got a job in college at a law firm, and they hired me, and they didn't have anything for me to do. They just knew my dad, so I made coffee. So I just made coffee in a law firm. That's it. I sat Mm -hmm. in a coffee room and made coffee all day. And so, Jesus, man, his stories of his life are so fucking fascinating. One time, his dad bought him uh, him a brand new mountain bike, and he was like, great, what am I supposed to do with this? And his dad's like, ride it. And he goes, and get killed? 
He's like, we live in long, like where we live. I can't ride around on a new mountain bike, so he just <laughs> put it away and just stayed on his shitty one because he wouldn't get jumped for his shitty wow. one. Wow! He tells like stories of his dad sparking up a machete in a fight, just oh, ring on the ground. You want some? Ring, and I'm like, my dad never sparked up a machete. Yeah. <laughs> he did the. He told me. Uh, he goes, we we're talking about like differences when you grow up with like a Latin parent. You know, yeah. in his case, both parents and. He said uh, one time we were, he was talk, we were talking about on the Spanish podcast, he was talking about washcloths. He oh goes, you know, God. I went to a house and um, I went, oh, it was like a white friend's house. And I went to take a shower and I was like, uh, do you have a, a washcloth? And they were like, what? <laughs> and he goes, what is that? And I go, well, I always thought that the only people that use washcloths are just poor people. <laughs> <laughs> So they probably weren't poor. And he was yeah. like, I guess not. He goes, <laughs> he goes, it was a nice reminder that I'm poor. <laughs> <laughs> he said one time, one time yeah. he goes, uh, we were at the, we're at eating <laughs> lunch. And the lady goes, okay, what do you guys have going to have? And he goes, uh, I have the fajitas. And she goes, okay, corn or flour. And he goes, oh, uh, corn tortillas, por favor. And I go, I go, hey, can you not do that? And he goes, what? <laughs> I go the fucking Spanish accent when you say fajitas. Just say fajitas. Don't go fajitas. Mm -hmm. Like, hey, tampa highlight, you know? Mm -hmm. And he goes, why wouldn't I say fajitas? And I go, <laughs> well, you're doing it like to, you know, and he goes, no, I'm saying it the way it's pronounced. And yeah. he goes, you're actually mispronouncing it when you say fajitas. <laughs> and I went, oh. That's yeah. so true. It's so, so true. true. And I was like, I find it condescending as a white guy to go, to even try to do an accent. Can I get some tortillas? I agree. It's yeah, weird. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Did you know that El Torito means the little bull in Spanish? No. Why? Is that what not Tommy calls his dick? <laughs> <laughs> El Torito. Why? What's El? No, but think about it. Like we say it. We say El Torito, oh, and then geez. one day we were. Uh, I was looking at the El Torito sign, and I was like, "Dude, that's El." Torito. Tor Toro. Yeah, yeah. dude. Toro. Yeah, dude. It's the little bull. Oh. But did you ever put that together as a gringo seeing an El Torito? You think it's like, I don't no. know what. El Torito. I never thought of the little bull. See? That's so funny. There's one right See? down the street. There you go. Doesn't it upset you? <laughs> we had this conversation with Jesus yesterday. It upsets me that the neighborhood in this, in this city that is literally written as Los Feliz is called Los Filas. Yeah. yeah, I didn't. I didn't. Never knew it was Los Feliz. People say Los Feliz. Bill Burr says Los Feliz, and I go, easy, buddy. You yeah. live there. Learn how to pronounce it. And he was Los like, Feliz. Los Feliz. Yeah, but it's, Feliz. That's nonsense, though. That's crazy. It's, well, then what? What is it? Should it be called Los, Los Feliz? Los no, Feliz. No, hold on. I'm sorry. Should it be called Los Angeles? Los yes, Angeles. Los Angeles. Not Los Angeles. I mean, that's yeah. really you know. Gonna that's better. <laughs> Los I'm gonna Angeles. I'm going to be the fucking arrogant asshole on the plane going. Uh, the pilot's saying it wrong. <laughs> It's Los Angeles. 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 Los Angeles. Angeles. Angeles is better than Felis. I mean, Felis has nothing it's to do not with the even word. Right. Yeah. That's not the even anglicized well, and, version of that. And what word. about Rodeo Drive? It's Rodeo. There's no accent mark. Yeah. It's not Rodeo. Hey, ho. Yeah. Rodeo. <laughs> yep. And it's not Houston Street. It's, it's Houston. Houston. Why do they say yeah, why Houston? Did, why do they call it Houston? South it's of not. Houston. It's Houston. 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 Yeah, Houston. No, Houston. it's not. Here's the other thing. It might be Houston, and Texas is all fucked up, and they should be calling it Houston too. <laughs> but yeah, what, H -O -U -S -T -O -N. phonetically. But it's H -H Houston. Why is it H O U S? That's Houston. That's Houston. That's Houston. Right. Houston. Houston. Yeah, why would we listen to fucking rednecks on how to pronounce it? <laughs> some people say Houston. 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 Sure. Or uh or um uh Missouri. No, Missouri wait a minute. Is a big wait a minute. One. But Y O U is U. Yeah. So H O U is Houston. Oh, I'll So get it is Houston. It's and Houston is wrong. I got a better one. This kind of blew me away. Washington? Ugh. What do you call hey, someone Washington. who sews clothes? A tailor? No, a, a seamstress. You, uh, you should call her a sewer, yeah. but it would read sewer. Oh, right, oh. a sewer. I got obsessed with this the other day. So was, a seamstress. So, yeah, yeah, they were like, yeah. oh, go get the sewer. And it's like, can, I'm, can you not call me that? Can you not call me a sewer? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a bowl of shit. Go get a bowl of shit from yeah. over there. I'm a seamstress. Uh, Why here. is she gay? Like a gay man? No, it's just my woman's voice. By the way, starring alongside Mark Wahlberg and Rose Byrne in Instant Family. All right, you share the screen with Mark Wal 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 Mark Wahlberg. Yeah, you got it. I got it. Yeah. Know him a long time. What was that like? <sighs> 
and he barely got out instant family too. He went, yeah. uh, oh. is that <laughs> is that podcast on half speed? <laughs> Have you ever listened Guilty to one pleasure. of those on accident? Chocolate. You're like, yes. I think Andrew Dice Clay had a stroke. Chocolate souffle. Oh, chocolate souffle. Yeah. 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 Isn't, that the, isn't that the best? Yeah, it Soccer? takes a while to make. It, what right. is this? Uh, what color is this jacket there, uh, King of Comedy? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> it is from the Steve Harvey collection. Hey, why, do you have, why do you have two stools on your special? Um, oh, yeah. I just figured I wanted to up the game a little bit. <laughs> That's the fucking funniest thing I've ever seen. Seriously? I saw two stools and I go... If that's his stupid brain of just going, you know, make it bigger. Two stools. <laughs> Wait, did you have two stools next to each other or you're in between two stools? No, in between like two stools. Goal. Yeah. Wait, why, why did you do that? Every show we had two stools. Why would why? you do that? Uh, just to put more stuff on them. <laughs> <laughs> but then, wait a minute. Doesn't that lock you in so you can't walk freely? No, you can walk around. You walk in front of it. And sometimes yeah. I would walk between them and do like figure eights. <laughs> you should have called you your special one mic, two stools. <laughs> that probably would have been a better. <laughs> it's called ball hog. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, can I, I watch Saka Souffle again? Oh, yeah, yeah. Saka. Sorry. You got to have, you got to see. I feel bad Turn. making pleasure. Chocolate Souffle. Saka Souffle. Chocolate Souffle. Oh, chocolate Souffle. Yeah. Isn't that the best? Yeah, it takes. I mean, Saka Souffle. Saka Souffle. Saka? Look how dark his hair is. Souffle. This makes me want to. This makes me want to quit drinking. You know he probably is a big boozer, right? No, um, no, he's alive and he's old. I don't know. We got I'm, I'm, I go through the list of who are the big boozers that are left. Right. Not, not, a, many. not a lot of them. <laughs> not a lot of them. I wonder if I could. Uh, What's the lesson, Bert? Well, I'm not gonna stop. <laughs> I was gonna start smoking weed, and I started, and then this fucking coronavirus showed up. Yeah. And they said the number one thing you can do to prevent yourself from getting super sick is not be smoking. They said people smoking have their philias are all messed up mm -hmm. inside their lungs. And Cilia? they are the ones. Cilia? Whatever. So yeah. you need to start smoking. Start smoking. So I had to quit, dude. It was oh. tough. Hi, I'm Peyton Lafferty and I'm a ball hog. <laughs> That's where I got the title from. For real? Yeah. <laughs> do you like it? I love it. Hi, I'm Sierra Sin and I'm a ball hog. <laughs> I've never detected her vocal fry before. I'm a ball hog. I'm a ball hog. Hey. Are you going to call your size queen? Oh, I like that. <laughs> I need a, I need titles. Are you shooting anything. a special? I can't say anything at the moment. Okay. Um, have you considered getting a vasectomy? I have. And let's do it. I say uh, you guys do it on Two Bears, One Cave. Great idea, Christina. Can I'll you get do one it? If you get one. Yeah, I'll yeah, get yeah. one if you get one. <gasps> Please, I don't want to well, take. We gotta come control. on something together first. <laughs> what do you want to do? I don't know. We should you come on something. Um, <laughs> American flag. <laughs> we gotta come on something. <laughs> hey, oh, my name's oh. Bert. This is Tom Segura. We're about to get a vasectomy, but first, we're coming on the Bible. <laughs> what about one of those? Uh, <laughs> what about one of those triple cheeseburgers? And then, yeah, yeah. You know, what I mean, back to your. We can take back to your frat days, and whoever comes last has to eat it. Kind of thing. <laughs> or donuts. Hey, Bert, why aren't you even jerking off? I'm kind of hungry. <laughs> why don't you glaze donuts? Oh yeah, and get a, a dozen. A well-known one. We could do that. Yeah. Um, Is that well known? Wait, I don't know. Do you gla Is that is that a genre of like glazing donuts? Yeah, yeah, it yeah, should yeah, be. Yeah, 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 oh. yeah. Definitely, definitely. This episode is sponsored by Blue Chew. Remember the days when you were always ready to go, when you just would smell a woman's neck, and then you would immediately be rock hard. <sighs> mm. Now you can increase your performance and get that extra confidence in bed. Listen up, BlueChew.com. That's Blue like the color blue. Blue Chew brings you the first chewable with the same FDA-approved active ing ingredients as Viagra and Cialis. Man, this is awesome. This is what advanced technology is all about. You can take them anytime, day or night, even on a full stomach. Since they're chewable, they work up to twice as fast as a pill. So you can be ready whenever. I mean, literally, just pop that in, ready to go. You could ben benefit from more confidence when it counts. Blue Chew is the fast and easy way to enhance your performance. Blue Chew is prescribed online by licensed physicians, so you don't have to go to the doctor's office or wait in line at the pharmacy, and it ships right to your door in a discreet package. They're made in the USA, and since Blue Chew prepares and ships direct, they're cheaper than a pharmacy, and best of all, there's no more awkwardness. Right now, we got a special deal for our listeners. Visit BlueChew.com and get your first shipment free when you use our special promo code HOUSE. 
just paying $5 shipping. Again, that's B-L-U-E, Chew, C-H-E-W dot com, promo code HOUSE to try it free. Forget taking a pill. Blue Chew is the faster, better, cheaper choice, and we thank them for sponsoring the podcast. Use lube most of the time when you jerk off? Uh, n- no, I don't have any on the bus. I've been using a lot of uh, Wait a minute. natural lube. Do you spit what? on your dick? No, no, sweat. I work out real hard. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you jerk off on the bus with everyone else there? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Not, in the back. I don't the jerk back, off yeah. in the... What do you mean, of the... course? Uh, you yeah. think that the people, someone could walk in on you? Yeah, I bought... Uh, me, and Ron are, me and Ron, my t- bus driver, are big fans of Christy Mack, the porn star. Yeah. And we were sitting there, and she's got this fans-only site, and we were like... Only fans. See? Only fans, yeah. yeah. And we were like, we were like, what do you get for that? And he was like, it's nine bucks. Just get it. And I was like, and now he called, he goes, get it, big boy. And I was like, okay. So I got it. And you're like, he made me do it. And, but, yeah. and we were at a restaurant. And the second we got in, it was made everyone very uncomfortable. Because now Ron and I was just looking at porn. And it's, it's pretty great, man. I'm gonna si- I would sign up over another month. I'd, I'd do more chicks if that. I like that fan only. The way they do it, I, I only only fans or whatever. Yeah. The way they do it is you buy. It's the way that you do Starbucks app. You you buy like nine dollars worth of credits on your on the on the app, and then they say, "Would you like to use a month?" It's nine bucks. So you're not signing up in this, and it gets repeated every month, every month, every month. You've got to buy your your credits. credits. Yeah. It really but, is makes but, it feel safe. But Bert, don't you know that? I mean, you can get porno for free. I know, but I, I not you can't get the girls that are the high end girls have all scrubbed their shit off the internet. Oh. I, I don't care about the low end girls. I like the high end girls. They almost like they're pros. They know what they're doing. Sure, you know. Yeah, I yeah. got you. I got yeah. you. Yeah. Wow. Um. Oof. Yeah. That mayonnaise thing. Wait, back to your vasectomy. Oh yeah. Tandem. I think you guys really should look into this. Can Doctor Drew refer you to someone? Have Doctor Drew do it in here. That would be great. With a coat hanger. <laughs> just go <laughs> just go in the go in the piping on the front side. I, I I was scheduled to do a vasectomy. I've talked about this before to you guys. Do it. I was scheduled to do a vasectomy, mm-hmm. right? So I I wake up this this is one of the roughest days of my life. I wake up in the morning and I get I go out to the treadmill to work out. They're demoing our house, right? There our house is in full demo. Uh and I get in, and I talk. I get on the phone with Tom. We were supposed to do that Funny or Die tour. Do you remember this? Man. Yep. Did that get canceled? So I'm on the phone with you, and I had canceled all my dates. I was going to do 12 shows. I was on all 12 shows with you, and you were like, uh, I said something about getting flights, and you're like, you're buying your own flights, and I said, yeah, and you said, I think they're covering flights. I said, not for me, and you went, oh, and you were like, wait, how much are you getting paid? And I told you, and you were like, oh, okay. I go, wait, what are you getting paid? And you go, okay, you got to promise this isn't going to fuck up our friendship. <laughs> and you told me, and I was like, holy shit. And then later that day, you called me, and you go, hey, man, you should also check in. I think they're canceling a bunch of dates. And I went, okay, so they can't, then they end up, I find out, A, I'm not getting paid any money. B, I'm fuck, they canceled all the dates that I'm on. I go on a walk to kind of like get my head straight and go, that's okay, that's okay. We're, we'll figure things out. Travel Channel calls and fires me. <sighs> and, and Leanne has scheduled a vasectomy for me. And I was like, the one thing I'm keeping is my cum. Like I'm not, I got, I lost everything today. Like the house is demoed. Aww. I got so sick that night because all the dust from the demolition. I got so sick that night. It was like the roughest. I remember, day of my life. by the way, going to. Uh, I I did a, a few of those dates. Yeah, and um, I always like end up talking, you know, talking to those uh, organizers and accounting people, and I was yeah. like, "Tell me what everyone makes." And like at first they were like, "Nah," and then on the last day they were like, "All right, come here," and oh. they, they just showed me the. <laughs> the pay scale and i was like that person gets eight times what we're making they're like yeah and it wasn't even like a huge name really yeah 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 way that, way I, more that is so that's so i wish they had to make that public so you knew what everyone was making because i because it, it i wonder like uh i want to talk to you off off, off off air but like some venues you can make so much more money than other venues yeah like it'll be like it'll be like three thousand people and you make x amount and then it's like 12, 1,800 people and you make more than that. And yeah. you're like, wait, that makes no fucking sense. I wonder yeah. if it's just like yeah. union rules and uh, stuff. Expenses. Yeah, the expenses are a huge thing. Um, mm. it, it changes the whole game. But yeah, OnlyFans, by the way, is stellar if you if you want to like. Now, if you're interested in seeing my OnlyFans, you can certainly sign up. I, I would appreciate that. Because that's where all the really good stuff is. I would sign up stuff for her. I don't post on Twitter. 
Yep. Really? I tell, I tell, I, oh, I, oh, yeah. And I, I'm still looking for volunteers, but please, you need to be in New Orleans. I don't want guys flying in from all kinds of places just to come fuck this old lady. That uh, That's not appropriate, I don't think. Does she have teeth? Yeah. I'm going to New Orleans tomorrow. Oh, my God. Yeah. Who are you bringing with you? Uh, Jesus and Shane. Shane. No, he- Jesus and Dave. Shane's shooting a Netflix special or a Netflix series or something. Uh, will Dave do it? Dave won't. He's married. Jesus will. Jesus is single and he's in a big bitches. Oh, yeah. That's right. Yeah. He loves. At Terrytown, gal, if you're looking to uh, get to know. Maybe send her a message, Bert. Yeah. Yeah. Let's, let's hit her up. You know? And so if you're in New Orleans and if you are over the age of 35, uh-uh. then I would I love Jesus to have younger. you come over. Oh, really? And we'll. Do our thing. I bet Jesus and we'll has record a hard it. Yeah, I bet he does. Tall and shit. so you have to be okay being on camera. Now, if you need to have a pillowcase or something over your head, it's okay with me. Hey, that there you go, just, push. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's my I'm thing. Easy. This bitch took and, my thing. Who the fuck? And a special shout out. Who the fuck is gonna wear? Oh, I, I will. Yeah. I swear to God, I will pay nine ninety nine a month to watch people fuck her like like Leatherface from oh, Texas. Whoa, whoa, is that what hers? Is that? Um, wait, that's what she puts on Twitter. What was Damn. that? Yeah, what was that? Go back to that. Who's that? that? Is that Who's hers? That? Oh, my God. That's not her. That's not her? See, Leanne, this is what's wrong with me and Leanne's That's awesome. And that's the kind of scene work you could do for um, no one will know. If you that's do true. That. Nobody will know that. Nobody one. will know that's you. Me? No, any, sure. I might yeah. put a pillowcase over my head. No, but I mean, let's say you shoot a video like that today, Bert. Yeah. Who would be able to tell that it's you? Like that. I would, I'll tell you what I would like. I would like someone to... Uh, that's awesome. That's awesome. No one knows that's you either. Is that the old lady? No. No, no. way. I bet I bet if I did a video of just me jerking off and you couldn't see you couldn't see my face, I bet you'd still know it's me. No one knows who that is. Yeah, we do. It's Michelle. I know, but that's not that much information. I could do that one. You could? <laughs> well, I mean... <laughs> sure. It's just jiggling her butt around and, and spreading the cheeks. Spreading the there yeah. Oh, oh. oh, okay. Oh wow, that's her stomach. I see. Is that her balls? Yeah. Yeah. That's, what, she, she can't <laughs> even wow. reach her pussy. She, just looks fat. <laughs> she looks like me trying to wipe my ass. <laughs> Come on, finger. One more inch. One more inch. I, I thank you. I good. I'm good. Okay. Oh, wait, 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 wait. She looks cool. Yeah, 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 she yeah. looks cool. I like her. Yeah. <laughs> These are going to be ridiculous. Oh my god. Oh my Big god. Can we give her a plug? No. What's her name? That's not. Good morning, ba- Oh, Sarah Tiana? No. <laughs> oh, Sarah. <laughs> Sarah Nicole One. S A R E Nicole One. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, if you're Whoa. a chiropractor, she's going to need your help. <laughs> those are the biggest tits I've ever seen in my life. Seriously? And those look like big naturals. Those yeah, are, they look those, natural. Yeah. That can't be natural. Is that real? No, no, yeah. that can't be. That is natch. Because her nip nips look. Uh, no, it looks real. How was your rebound after having kids? I'm still working on the second one, dude. Oh, you still breastfeeding? No, I mean I'm I'm on my rebound of my tits. Like did like because Leanne's yeah. got bigger and stayed there. No, mine are hangier and they spread more. Really? Do you know what I mean? Like they they were always big. They're just yeah. lower now. There's a picture of you that I f- saw online that I can't refind of you in a shower. Is that real? That's not me. Is that real? That is not me, Bert. Someone Are you sure? put my face on it. Was like, it's I was, not me. And they were like, "Here's Christina from her Road Rules days," and I was like, <laughs> "Oh yeah, that's I, her." I saw that and I was like, "That, that is, holy that is shit. you." Shit. Not that is you. What are you from talking? Road Rules? Yes, there, there's Babe. a shot in there's a shot in Road Rules. You're not. It's not like you're a not naked. Porn shower. You're not naked. You're, you're just getting in the into a shower. Yeah, I remember that hey, shot. They didn't shoot you in the bathroom. Nobody could have gotten that shot of me in the '90s. No, they didn't. Sure, ha- sure, sure. And I bet no, you I didn't s- have a dog either. Ah! Uh, no, I mean yeah, it. They yeah. didn't get shots of you in the shower back then. There's no way. Hey, by the way, I forgot to say congratulations on the Apollo Loco sponsorship. Thanks, man. <laughs> Uh huh. Well, they have primary Boy. colors too, so we may have to paint our set again, yellow and red. Our set. Well, we did it for McDonald's when they sponsored us. We had to paint. We did the yellow and red, oh, and, okay. then, and then yeah. we switched to Morton's, and then they pulled out. It sucked. You guys have been kind of dicked around a little bit by these brands. Yeah. 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 I think we might even have to go vegan or something to get Ooh, somebody to shape roll. Maybe. <laughs> How long do you think you go vegan for? Um, I could do I could do forty eight hours easy. Oh, I could do forty eight hours simple on my hands. Okay, let's do this. Let's let's find a bet here. Okay. 
How long do you think you could go vegetarian? Could you go one month plant-based? <sighs> easy peasy. I don't think it's easy peasy. Easy fucking peasy. I, okay, pescatarian. I th- oh month that, easy. That's easy, easy. Month. Easy, easy a month. Easy. easy a month. Wait, that means fish and vegetables, correct? Oh, I thought it was just a- Timmy Pescatelli's. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, but that just means like your source. Why doesn't she call her fans pescatarians? <laughs> <laughs> What's up, pescatarians? She, uh, yeah, she absolutely should actually. Um, uh, I could easily do the pescatarian. I could do pescatarian. Okay, let's 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 make it hard. Okay. Pescatarian. Let, how long? Let's how? Okay. Vegan's so hard though. Vegan's just stupid. I mean, it's just it has nothing to do with diet. It just has to do with morals. Yeah. Is, is it, is the only reason to, you don't do it for health. You do it because you love animals. Yeah. Uh, some people do it, I think, for health. No, but... they no one does it. Oh, okay. No one does it for health. You take a survey. No, 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 no. You've heard it here. No one does it for health. <laughs> okay. It's not done for health. And you were saying. And if you're doing it for health, you're doing it wrong. Now, take this back to you were saying that. I want to outrage people. Go that, ahead. That kidney porn should be legal because then <laughs> no one would. What was, how, what was the rest well, of Well, that it? veganism leads to being a child pornographer, I think is what he said. <laughs> Vegans are child pornography. You heard it here first. <laughs> <laughs> no, I could go. I did vegan for like I did vegan for like five days, Oof. and it was fun. It was really fun because you got to you were like, what do I is like it made eating interesting. You're like, what am I gonna eat? Mm-hmm. You're like, I wonder if I could go to a vegan restaurant. And you were trying a bunch of stuff, um, but it's not a, it's not done done for health because vegetarianism I think is done for health, but veganism is just done to. Because you love animals, you don't want to hurt animals. It's more like a PETA thing. Mm. Right. That's what I learned in being a. I was I was vegan for ninety minutes and I ate <laughs> pasta. And the guy was like, "You know, there's egg and pasta." And I was like, "I can't eat eggs either." <laughs> and the guy's like, "I thought you said you were a fucking vegan when we're on a plane." And I was like, "I've only been a vegan for ninety minutes." <laughs> I could do vegetarian, vegetarian for how long? I don't know. Yeah. Let's put, put some put some. Let's put something on it. Okay. Let's let's do a wager. Okay. Let's say- starting right now. Starting right now? Let's do it. We Wait, already, hold on, hold we on. Already... Uh, why am I talking like this? No, yeah. This is what's wrong with me. <laughs> yeah. Let's start. Let's start. Um, when's your special? Oh, yeah. Let's start the week of your special. Okay. The uh, the 17th. The 17th. Uh, that morning, let's start. We have a vegetarian and alcohol-free. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Wait, no, wait, wait. My <laughs> special here is on St. Patty's Day. I'm not going alcohol-free. Why not? Oh, it's right. It's St. Saint- Patrick's Day. But that's okay. It doesn't, you know, this is more important than <laughs> celebrating a make believe holiday, anyway. It's not a real one. It's going to be, you know, what's going to happen is we're all going to get holed up in quarantine in our houses because Don't. of the coronavirus. Stop. And then, Stop. And, then, and then we're going to, I'm going to be the fucking one vegan vegetarian inside my house. Are you not, are you guys worried about the coronavirus? No. No. Not really. Not right now. Yeah. I've been looking at people's fingers. <laughs> Uh, how much to how much to <laughs> sit at the New York subway and let everyone as they swipe their card stick their finger in your mouth? No, uh, just no. Put a number for two hundred and fifty million dollars. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I'll I would do it. Get this money together. I would sit for one hour <laughs> one and everyone hour. that walked by uh, put their finger in my mouth. Uh, I would do it for probably five million dollars. Five million. Five. If you want to get five for that, be uh, real. Okay. Be realistic. Get, put, put a number down. Half a mil, five hundred thousand dollars is fair yeah, because you're gonna get sick. You're gonna get sick. Three. It's three. Given. You're gonna. Here's the yeah. thing. You have a blindfold. You have a blind. <laughs> you're not gonna. Yeah. But no, you can wear a mask. You're wearing a but, mask. I know. Oh my God, they put their yes. mouth, the finger in their mouth. Here's the deal, man. You're gonna get like E. coli. You're gonna get people who don't wipe. They wipe their hands. They don't wash their hands. Uh, yes. You're gonna get like. Pee-pee. And we can't. We can't stop a, a couple of the guys from using their dicks instead of fingers. <laughs> so you're gonna have a couple of dicks in your mouth. You know, ultimately, you know, like thirty minutes in, someone's at the top of the stairs going, "Yo, there's some dude with his mouth open. Fucking put your finger in dog shit." <laughs> of course. Of course. Ah. Ah. But you, and then you get so... your you get your your five hundred bucks at the end of it, and you made made your money. <laughs> yeah, it seems like a good bet. Yeah, I love outrageous bets. Like you don't that. want to do the vegetarian bet? I could do vegetarian. How long do you think you could do it for? Just vegetarian? Yeah. I could do it for a month. Oh boy! But starting on St. Patrick's Day. Starting on St. Patrick's Day. You don't think that <laughs> after drinking you'll you'll want to eat nope. something like kind of sop it up? What do I get? What do you? I'll mean? do it one month. One month? Yep. Uh, what's what should our bet be? I don't know. Vegetarian. I know you both get a vasectomy. That's the. That's the fun part. Well, you like, venture and then you both yeah. win. You both get a vasectomy. That's not a bet. That's not a bet. 
if I could do a vegetarian for one month starting March 17th, the day of my special, hey, big boy. It'd be ironic. I'll be so skinny. They'll be like, why are they calling big boy? <laughs> the, uh, and then. What? I got it. I got it. Okay. We are both going to get our dandy suits made, right? We're going to be dressed like dandies. <laughs> So the First whoever person that taps out has to pay for both dandies. It has to pay for both dandies. I <laughs> fucking love it. Yep. I. So you're gonna try to go vegan, vegetarian too. I'll go vegetarian with you, and okay. if I quit before you, I pay for the dandy suits. And, and if, if I you quit, do, you pay for the dandy. Okay. Suits. And so and so, how are we just gonna be on our words and whether or not we? So far, we've always been honest about. I've it, always right? been yeah. honest. So I mean, we've been honest about sober October. Sober October and all. Yeah. yeah. Let's just want to do that. Yeah. Now okay. hold on. So let's be clear. What vegetarian that that includes cheese? So no, if you're that's, that's ordering, pull, pull, pull up vegetarian. Well, diet. vegetarianism. No, hold vegetarian. on. Let's just make sure we're clear on the parameters. Okay. Vegetarians, what can we eat? Oh, well, there we go. Include Everything in that pyramid. a diverse mix of fruits, vegetables, grains, healthy fats, and proteins. The proteins must be provided by uh, protein-rich plants like nuts, seeds. Uh, words I can't pronounce. Like tofu, and, hmm. Satan. Oh yeah, open up the beginner's guide right there. Yeah. Let's let's see what, what like a what it looks like. Ugh. Let's see what a breakfast. That looks like something. a fucking All right, make explosion that bigger. in the toilet. Okay. Oh, what's a lacto lacto vegetarian? Eliminates meat, fish, and poultry, but allows eggs and dairy products. Ooh. Ovo allows eggs. Pescatarian diet. I really like mm -hmm. allowing eggs. I love eggs. Can we? Wait, eggs are vegetarian. Yeah. But are, are, they? are they? Yeah. Yeah, because it's not, we're not it's totally not vegan. It's not meat. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. So you can do eggs. Can you I do, can do dairy? This. I can do this easy as fuck. Lacto vegetarian fun. includes dairy. So yeah, you can have cheese. Okay. And how do you get protein? Scroll down, scroll down. Well, that's the thing. Eggs are a good source. I'll be eating fish. scrambled eggs Wait, with every meal. You can eat fish, right? Obviously, if you're a vegetarian or not. Don't and eat. That's no, not most of them don't eat that. Okay, so then let's make it clear. So we're not going to have fish. Is that what we're going to agree on? Dairy's fine. Eggs are fine. We're doing that. What? Right? Eggs and eggs and dairy, yeah. yeah okay. No yeah. fish or fish? Does it scroll down? Does it have it? No, no fish. No fish. No fish. Does it have um, like their, you know, an exa example menu on that, on this page? It's just like, okay. By the way, everything it, everything it helps. Yeah. Is everything I need. Okay. Food. May oh. help with weight loss. May help with heart disease. May help with blood sugar. There you go. May Slow help down with a little more. Grinding your teeth at night. All right. So here's what we can eat. By the way, you guys know that you started a fucking shit show with this teeth stuff. I'm going to Florida to get my all my teeth fixed now. No. Yes. Hey. It fucking Leanne, I think you planted the seed. And what has happened is I was forced to be honest with what's going on with my teeth. And I'm grinding my teeth in the back and they're and I, I'm getting severe problems. And Leanne noticed that I was only chewing on one side of my mouth. Uh -oh. And she was like, what's going on with the teeth? And I was like, no. And I go, I got real upset. She goes, all right. When you go to Tampa, I got to go to Tampa for the tour. She goes, I'm going to send you in a day early. Go to your dentist that did my teeth originally. She's like, you're going in. And he's going to, all the problems he's going to take care of. Good. Are you going to do veneers? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to talk to him and see if he might, he might want to just change out some veneers. All right. I don't know, but now I'm like I'm. We've been avoiding the dentist so bad. How? What was the last time you went to a dentist? Maybe f ten years ago. Whoa. Yeah. Bro. You don't go get regular cleanings and. Bro, you got to go for your health. I can't go. I can't get a regular cleaning from some dentists because they're not sometimes familiar with what's going on in my mouth, and they will fuck shit up. Like one time, this woman just ripped the front of a of a veneer off, and I went, seriously. And then the guy goes, "We need to." Do, we need to redo the whole mouth. And I was like, no. <laughs> I was like, no, we're not do, redoing the whole mouth. I go, just glue it back on. And he goes, it won't stay. It's been on for eight years. Yeah. So, But it's Jesus. black as fuck. Really? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's time. All right. Well, I'm proud of you. Yeah, I'm happy thanks, for thanks. you. I'm yeah. super excited. I'm super excited. I really can't wait. I'm like super pumped to leave a day early and go down to Tampa and get my fucking mouth fixed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited. That's going to look good, though. I grind my teeth. I found out that this pain in my neck and my shoulder Show is from grinding my teeth. If, oh. I sh if I showed you, no, I will never show you. Wait, what? If you saw it, you would go. Uh, if I saw what, though? My back molars. Show me. Uh -uh. Yeah. No. Why? They're dark? They're dark? No, they're all cracked. and Because I grind so bad. Let me see. I didn't think that was going, what was going on. I just thought. Are you in pain all the time? I'm in constant pain on the left side of my mouth. 
yeah. constant and you're like yeah. kind of wait it and out imagine how it'll get better the kind of dedication it takes to gain weight <laughs> with mouth pain <laughs> to to bite into a pizza and That's then have true. to shuffle it over the right side of your mouth because it it causes the biggest migraine when it touches these oh my bacteria. god dude <sighs> I'm actually glad we brought it up. Yeah. Now. I'm really excited. I'm really excited. Yeah. Dude, it's going to make you actually feel better. No, no. It was, it was that Leanne, the push was at Leanne's lady luncheon just going, let me look at those chompers. Leanne, look at these. These need to be fixed. And then Leanne was like, huh. yeah, but why haven't you fixed your teeth? You have money. I'm like, just fucking shut up. <laughs> I go, shut up. I'm caught fine. I'm an old man. Yeah. And then Leanne caught me one time. I said to her, we were in the car and I said, I, would, I wonder if I can just outlast them. She no. goes, what do you mean? I go, like, if I'll just die before I have to deal with them. She goes, she goes, honey, that's no way to live your life. Like, oh, I wonder if I'll just die first. Mm. No, Let's go back to that Bert. page. We're going vegetarian. I want to see what the examples are on the menu there. Okay, can you eat like this? Uh, apples, bananas, berries, oranges, melons. Oh, I can't, wait to, I can't wait to go out to eat with me. Yeah, sir, what will you have? Um, do you have any buckwheat? Maybe a handful <laughs> of cashews or some chia seeds? Uh, can you toss that into some coconut oil? Okay, but Could pay, you do that? Pay attention that? to the protein, you guys. Tempeh, tempe, Arizona, <laughs> tofu, tofu Satan, Satan, NATO. Nat nutritional yeast. Oh, my God. Great. Spiraling hey, push, go for a out. jog, and then Tom can go down on you. Hey. Isn't that what nutritional yeast is? <laughs> Eggs and dairy products. So oh, it man. doesn't list fish. Are we doing this? Yeah. Yeah? Let's do it. I'll start okay. today. No. Nah. I have chicken out there. I'm going to eat the chicken. Okay. Yeah. Um, I should probably start protein loading. Yeah, so we're starting. We're <laughs> we're gonna start uh, doing this March seventeenth, and as long as you can go. Yeah, loser pays for the dandy suits. Loser pays for the because dandy dandies, suits. dandying is our new hobby. I saw something about. Be, oh yeah, yeah, we're dandies. We're dandies. Hey, we somebody be, pointed out to me that Bert was exactly. really excited about being a dandy. Yeah, and then the very next podcast we did, he goes, "I can't wear a suit. I hate ties. I don't like feeling restricted. I don't like, it's like that's the whole outfit." <laughs> Wait, what does it mean to be a dandy? Exactly? Like dressing like Ooh, these like, guys, just yeah. to be fancy. Well, yeah. it's just we're gonna get our beards. I have my beard groomed by the guy from Jesus and Miro. Yeah, the guy who does their beards, yeah. a black barber. Yeah, and it's I fucking obsessed with it. You're gonna go see him again? I'm, no, he just showed me how to do it. Oh, oh wow. I like that yeah. dandy look. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna. Looks hey, you great. And, hey, do you and Leanne want to get dandy female suits and we'll go on a date one night? Is there such a thing? Yeah, let's yeah. look up Google female it. dandies. I'll do it. I think they're called uh, dundies. <laughs> dundies. <laughs> Can a woman be a dandy? I want to. I don't know. Let's see. Let's, yeah. All no, right. These are no. lame. Oh. oh, you have to dress yeah, like Annie is. Hall. Oh, I love Annie. Oh, you just Hall. dress like you're non binary, basically. <laughs> oh. No. Oh, yeah. You guys just dress like dandy dandy boys. Yeah. <laughs> the dandy lady. There you Look go. Look at that fucking outfit. There That's kind of cool. That's there. really That's cool. Really cool. I would do oh, that. Oh, Liam would look hot in one of those now that she's skinny. You talk about her like she was like 350. She, by the way, I always thought she was sexy when she was overweight, obese. <laughs> <laughs> but like, <laughs> let's let's get her on the phone. We'll yeah, see. let's get yeah. her on the phone. She was not obese. She was obese. Like when was Leanne obese? obese? Uh, last week. She just got this new body and she's flaunting it. I love it. That's good what, for her. Like she was doing sexier stuff in bed because she was skinny. Hello. Hey, what's up? What's up? No. Not much. What you do? I just finished my podcast not long ago. I'm talking to. I'm still doing your mom's house, and we're talking about your weight loss and how annoying it is, or how, how great you look. Um, oh, shut up. Uh, hey, uh, Leanne, how, how how much how much did you weigh at your heaviest? One thirty nine. Uh, a bird said That's that you were you were absolutely obese before, and we do not agree with him. I don't think so. Yeah. I think he was talking about himself. <laughs> oh, you know what I said the other day, Tom. You know what I said? I go, this is a, I said, I feel fat. And Leanne just goes, you should. <laughs> I did not say well, that. You're bullshit. Hey, what, what were the exact words you said about when we looked at John Cleese last night? What were your exact words that you think you said? You could look like that. If. That's all I said. You, you didn't, could look like that. You did not. <laughs> you said with a little word. Excuse me. No, I just, I think I just said you could look like that. He's really. If you, if, if you work at it, Leanne. He said, <laughs> "If you work at it, if you work, if you work at, at it, if you work, if you work, at, it, work yes. at it." Yes, I told you, Leanne. If you work at it. Leanne. He says that if you. He's saying that I said, "If you, 
with some really hard work. That's not what I said. I said if you work at it. If you work at it. That makes sense. I mean, she's not wrong, Bert. How good do you feel, Leanne, on a scale of 1 to 10? I feel really good. He says... I feel like a 10, even though I'm not a 10 yet. He says you're unbearable to be around right now. (laughs) Who's unbearable? I am the best. He said that you're a lot to handle with your new bod. Well, because she looks great. She looks great. They're haters, Leanne. You look great. She came walking in and said... They can't handle your hotness right now. I'll tell you what I have not done is I have not shit on... The kind of uh, on your trainer who who is kind of a little bit of a spiritual shaman, correct? Oh, he's amazing! Yep, he's I a great trainer. Him. I love him. Yep. Uh, and then I know that she's working <laughs> out a lot. Shit on him at all. What's that? There's no jealousy going on at all. No, none. Uh, how's the diet? Are you eating like really clean right now? Yeah, I'm eating uh, lean protein and dark green vegetables and almonds and strawberries and uh, apples and protein shakes. Why can't we get the bee man on the same diet? You tell me, buddy. You Look tell at, me. She's all over me. Dude. Wow. Good for you, Leanne. Put the hammer all down. Over you. Good girl. She, you know what? I feel like you're trying to change me. You want my teeth to get fixed? We're doing you want me day. to lose weight? Yeah. Oh, my God. Why aren't you in love with old fat yuck mouth? <laughs> <laughs> if you would stop complaining about yourself, then I would not mouth. suggest those things. But if someone comes in and goes, oh, my God, my teeth, my teeth, my teeth, then obviously your wife says, why don't you get it fixed? Yep. Stop yep. fucking complaining about it. There yeah, you go. Yeah, oh. every other block. This is stop the new it. Leanne. You like this? Yeah, yeah. Let's take charge of your life. You can it's do called, it, too. It's called shut up and dance. Come on. Whoa. Someone has been just. Love it. Hold, yeah, this is New Leanne. Love Shut up it, and dance. Leanne. Get shit done. Good girl. Get it, this girl. Is not New Leanne. I've always been this way. I was yeah. just this way and a little heavy. She was. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> when you were just shutting up. <laughs> I was just shutting up, right. Now and now you dance. shut up and dance, and you everyone's better catch up with you because. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Hey. Because you're, 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 the, you're the vessel. Hey, you either. Hop on board, or you get left behind. Come on. This is all. You know yeah. what this I is? love this it. This is all new trainer talk. Yeah, this is trainer. This talk. is trainer talk. <laughs> Sounds like trainers trainer in her head. Yeah, trainers yeah. in her head. Yeah. No. Yeah. Give us some trainer talk, Leanne. Give us some trainer talk. <laughs> Tell me about your belly button. I don't know. Oh, you want to know about the belly button? <laughs> what does this I mean? What? Yeah. What's, what's please, the belly button? Please. No, that's private. I'm not telling about my belly button. Okay. Right. I'm not there so that I can accurately represent myself. I don't know how I'm being represented because I can't see what anybody's doing. No, we're just so sitting here listening. No, we're just listening. He, he just brought up the belly button. We have no idea what it means. Oh, oh, no, it's Joey Diaz calling. Yeah, he just called me. Oh, okay. No, all right. I love you, baby. I'll, right. I'll see you later. Love you too. Bye, Bye, Leanne. Bye, Bye love Leanne. Love you. Bye. Um, it's it's all trainer talk. Like the trainers, like fucking I, dude. I need you know one what it too. Is? I need it's, one too. I'm gonna get one it's too. Coaching. Is he like this? Hey, yo, Leon, check this shit out, right? Oh here. my god! Like that? <laughs> no, I don't think so. I've never met him. I've never met him. Tom, He's, can I get a sexy black trainer too? Why don't hey. you get this one? This guy does fucking. I mean, Leanne is someone who who said, "quote unquote." This were her. You need to stretch, I don't stretch your ass out. I don't <laughs> sweat. She goes, "I don't sweat. I don't. I'm, I've never sweat. I'm not gonna oh, sweat." She. she Pours sweat. She's dripping sweat when she comes home. Well, yeah, when you get fucked like that, you. <laughs> <laughs> and so she, he has gotten her to be different in the way she ever worked out. She is 100% different. I think when you need a trainer, when you get a trainer, you need someone to change the way you look at everything. Yeah. And and I think this guy's this really worked. killing it. It worked. I am hesitant. Leanne wants me to go train with him. And I'm hesitant yeah. because I can be a little bullheaded. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, eh. You're like, well, uh, we're supposed to be segregated. I'm not going to oh fucking take God. orders. We're, but you need someone that's right for you. You need a guy yeah. that gets your way. That, I, that's what if he important. does work for you, though? Wait, what's the part? Like, what if, I, I what if you love it? Because what if I don't? And then I, and then I, I, and I stop. And then Leanne goes, why aren't you working out with him? And I go, it, I don't like it. Yeah, but that's. that's but it's, but I, I don't want to fuck up what's working for her. No, what I'm yeah. saying is that. I, I think that's the wrong way to look at it because it is totally acceptable to for anyone to try a trainer and be like, wasn't for me. And there's no there's nothing unusual about but it's, that. Uh, but it's almost imagine imagine if like she uh, like I'm trying to think of the right way to like imagine if like you're Scientologist and it works for you and you're like it'll, it'll work for everybody. Okay, okay. And then you bring someone in and they're like, I think it's kind of horseshit. And they're like, yeah. well, you know what? 
Fuck you. It works I get for me. But, yeah. but you haven't that. even tried it yet, Bert. Yeah, you haven't tried it yet. So you, you can't try say it. that yet. We know it would be better is if you tried it and you go, not for me. And then the next day you have a super hot black female trainer. Yeah. And you're like, this Tom, is more my Tom, speed. Tom, you, can I tell you, if I had a beautiful hot trainer that I talked uh, about uh, at all. Yeah. Death. By the way, this guy's gorgeous, and he's and he's changing her, and he's fixing her, and like he's like making her better. And he's yoked, I need one and of he's these. Yoked, Tom, and get me one of these. Guys. Fucking, he's awesome. I and, want this. And and she keeps talking about how great he is, and he's this, and he's yeah, that. And he listens, one. and he figures her out, and like they talk about what's wrong with her, and like he gets, she's he cried, asked, she's cried he at asked like how fucking my day was. Yeah, like and I'm like, he hears me in my head. I'm like, That's like what I need I'm to. like, if I did this with a hot, if I was like, oh, oh forget it, Hannah Drake. Let me tell you about yeah. Hannah. Like yeah. Liam would be like, forget it. What the fuck? Yeah. Like, but you're like, but, but she gets me. But what's crazy is like, I don't, I don't think Liam would ever cheat on me. But I, but I go, but there is that thing in my head. I've been cheated on before, and you go, oh, this is what it looks like when you're about to get cheated on. Wow. <laughs> like, like it definitely looks like, you know, my English professor is cool as shit. And you're like, oh, cool. What are the guys in English professors are gonna fuck this? Right? You know? Yeah. And then mm. I have to say, Bert, I, I wouldn't trust a male trainer. I would only go to a lady. I've only ever I had a Pilates instructor who was a lady, and you know I because I would be afraid of that. Yeah. Like, what if you know? Because you do form a, a bond with the, that person. They're your coach. Yeah, and they stretch you, and they're spreading your legs, and like yeah. pushing they finger you. They usually finger, finger the girls. She came home one time. She goes, "I said you were late." She goes, "Oh yeah, um, he had to put a patch on my back. My back was hurting." And I went, "Okay." And so she goes to get in the shower, and the patch is way down. <laughs> And I'm like, hold on, do you have to take your pants off? She's like, not all the way off, but I had to, yeah, I had to take the lower my pants a little bit. And I was bit. like, yeah. mm-hmm. and Leanne's got the best butt in the world. And she's like, and I'm like, fucking seriously, you can't just show that to everybody. And she's like, Bert, fucking- he's a professional. It's what he does. <laughs> going, but- just looking at my butt crack. <laughs> Ain't nothing but a butt crack. But hold on, how is how old is he? Uh, I don't know. Because if it's in his twenties, like, no, he's not in his twenties. I think he's like his forties. I mean, it's fine, right? It's, they're cool. They run into each other on the street at Starbucks or something. Oh, here you go here too. I don't is, know. Has she has she taken any book recommendations from him? Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> You're just home. She's like, by any means necessary. You know, Malcolm X had some interesting <laughs> thoughts. <laughs> I don't even know what he looks like. I've never seen him, but they, but they all say he's gorgeous. You don't even know what he looks like. Yeah, what You've the never fuck? Met him. Wait, isn't that photo you posted of him? Bro, no, that's Bro. For the one, the the stretching photo. Oh yeah, like, that's him. But I didn't. See, you can't see his face. Yeah, you Bro, can. what's his Instagram? What's his name? Let's look him up on the gram right now. No, I don't want to fucking blow. Don't this say dude. it no, out. These, these guys. No, no the I'm not people saying. People listening to this podcast are horrible. No, I'm saying look at it privately <laughs> They're the and ones pass it out. in front of my bus. Okay. Just you know his name. Look it up on the grum and don't say it out loud and show us the picture. Oh, Let's look at it. And the next time you comment on Garth Brooks' photos, be like, "Are you fucking Leanne?" <laughs> 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 Have you seen his comments lately, Garth no, Brooks? I feel so bad for that. Guy. Oh my god, his <laughs> comments make me laugh so fucking hard. <laughs> like, is I'll be I'll forget about it for a month, and then he'll just. I'll just click on that. Yeah, like right here. And, it, and it's like, Saka Souffle? <laughs> Fed smokers looking down at you following Proto. Yeah. There's a baby at you in the street. <laughs> I'm having chest pains. <laughs> I'm feathering it, brother. Do you like your life, Garth? <laughs> it's Hi, it's Charles. Charles. It's uh, nothing but us. Nothing. There's not nothing one. Like, I wonder if he goes, I wonder if he goes, you know what? It's, it's a new fan base. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Uh, Hey guys, yeah. speaking of which, when you leave comments on the new special, let's keep them PG because what happened on the last special is you guys all just called me the best racist in the world and then new <laughs> fans would fight with you and go, guys, it's a joke. <laughs> and there was nothing like, oh, fuck. All right. Yeah, when you comment on Bert's new special <laughs> and trailer, make sure you keep it PC, be cool, be encouraging. Don't bring up his child pornography stance. Don't bring up anything race related, Hitler, Nazis. Uh, mm-hmm. And don't leave comments in German. Yeah, like don't leave German Sie comments. Kyle Jesus or... Christ. Don't leave anything about George Wallace, segregation. Fucking, like I almost lost Big Boy as a fan. Really? Yeah, I posted a picture with them and everyone just was just horrible. And he was like, <laughs> huh? And I was like, oh, I don't know what to tell you. 
I just wish. Here's what I wish. I wish everyone had a good sense of humor. Yeah, I know. Because yeah. there's so many people with that do not have senses of humor that just think saying the most hurtful thing. Yeah, they don't like, get the new. I blocked a guy last night where I was like, "Hey guys, we're looking, uh, we're looking for things to do on our way through Montgomery to whatever in the store." Some guy goes, uh, "Get your pancreas che- checked. You have pancreatic cancer." And I was like, "Okay, you just bummed me out." I was like, "You're blocked. I don't think you should be speaking to anybody." And yeah. I blocked him. I've been blocking a lot of people lately. You do? Yeah, I have been. Just because I'm like, oh, I don't like the way you play. Can you please find the trainer? I need to see this I don't, guy. I don't know where. I don't know what is. All right. Well, look, we got to wrap it up. Um, All right. I'm as on a always, trainer now. Bert, congratulations on the new special. Thank you. Yes, congratulations. Um, Thank you I know you so it's going to rock. It's going to go big, up, up and away boy. for you. Do you think? Do you? Here's my question. Who do you think is going to benefit more from ours being tethered together back to back weekends? Me. Yeah, I know. That's what I said. <laughs> Easy. I was like, how, how come I didn't go second? <laughs> yeah. No, I'll benefit more. Yeah, it's going to be huge. No, and no, they, they're, they're both going to be great. It's, they're going to be both big, yeah. but man, you're going to get, you're just going to be fucking. Do you think you're going to be doing arenas this year? Yeah. Sorry. No. I answered for you. Uh, I was yeah. very excited. I just saw the, the checks in my head just stacking. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um, I think I'm going to do a couple. Uh, in in a couple That's specific so crazy. Groups. You're going to be doing it too. I don't know if I'm going to be doing arenas. I did when I did Constitution Hall. That was the closest I've ever been. By the way, it's not even that. I mean, it's big, but it's not like a, big? it's not arena big. I think it's like 39. That's big. And so you did two there. Yeah. And so I went in and I was like, it's the first time that I had people like in stadium seating almost. Yeah. But I was like, it, it would be like doing uh, the forum, but with a stage, not in the round. Right. And. It was like I had never. I, my first show was like I don't think I like I this. I guarantee you, zero doubt, zero doubt. You're going to be doing arenas for sure within 14 months. Definitely. From your mouth to God's ears, for sure. I would love that. You're I would love that. I would love to do it once just to see what it's like and have that experience. Yeah. Because I, I watching Sebastian do it. It was such a cool experience. I would love. I would love for you to do the forum in the round. I would love to be there. The thing is, I I don't know if that'll ever happen. I just feel like there's no no. I'm saying there's some markets where I go like I don't know if it'll ever pop off. In oh, like Los, Angeles, like yeah. Los Angeles. Like Los Angeles. Los Angeles would be tough for me. Um, I think. But like I have Omaha. I have a few markets that it, that it's, it's good for. Well, Omaha, you're probably Cleveland. big in the South, Birmingham, Alabama. No, I'm, no, I'm not. You're Where's the clan from? Yeah. Oh, I'm not you're big Indiana in the South. Act. I'm not big in the you're South. Arkansas. Act. I'm not big in the South at all. Okay. I I my big markets are anywhere Ohio. Uh-huh. Um, probably the same as yours. I think anywhere Ohio. Yeah. Pen- Pennsylvania, Pit, uh, Pittsburgh, uh, Philly, DC, Florida. Yeah, but like the problem is with me with like this run I'm doing through Huntsville, they're all sold out. It's just one show, but they're not like huge. Like the men in that area aren't big uh, Instagram guys. They're not like huge podcast guys. Yeah, they're just like comedy fans. Sure, you know like that. Oh, because because you go to a place like Ohio where it's massive oh. podcast fans. And you can double your numbers for oh, people I got you, you on I the got podcast. You. Okay, okay. You're fine. Just you're, tap dude, into that clan listen, audience. You're you should just be, be enjoying the ride you're on. I'm yeah, enjoying, enjoy yeah. the I'm ride, bro. It. I'm it's, enjoying it's it. gonna be bigger and bigger, man. Uh, I'm proud of you. I love you. I love you too. Congratulations. Love you so much, Bert. Congrats. Go to Netflix if you have not already and make sure you check out Hey Big Boy it's streaming right now. Uh, follow Bert, get tickets, BertBertBert.com. Uh, check out Two Bears, One Cave. Bert and I do it together. It's on your mom's house YouTube channel. You can download it everywhere. There's also Burt Cast and Bill Burt uh, on Bill ATC. Bert ATC. So uh, that's it. Congratulations. Thank you, guys. All right, buddy. Love you, buddy. I love you, guys. Retired double H. Get the fuck out of here. Take it easy, fuckhead. Fuck you. What's up there, Tomo? You fucking accuser. How do you get a job, fuck face? Fire and brimstone. He didn't fall a proto. Fuck you, fuck you. Take it easy, fuckhead. Get the fuck out of here. Ta-ta there, retard. Fuck off, fuck off. double H. Get the fuck out of here. Take it easy, fuckhead. Fuck you. What's up there, Tomo? You fucking accuser. How do you get a job, fuck face? Fire and brimstone. He didn't fall a proto. Fuck you, fuck you. Take it easy, fuckhead. Get the fuck out of here. Ta-ta there, retard. Fuck off, fuck off. Retired double H. Get the fuck out of here. Take it easy, fuckhead. Fuck you. What's up there, Tomo? You fucking accuser. 
How do you get a job in fuck face? Fire and brimstone. He didn't fall a proto. Fuck you, fuck you. Take it easy, fuckhead. Get the fuck out of here. Ta-ta there, retard. Hi, Mommy. Thanks, Jean. Thank you for watching this episode of your mom's house. And if you had a great time, watch more videos here, here, here. And don't forget to subscribe here, 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 so that you will know when a your mom's house video comes out immediately. Thanks, Jean.